in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Believe me when I tell you, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for those following us online, may God bless you. The Lord will touch you from whatever part of the world, whatever time zone. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 7, please. We returned a few hours ago. Thank God for... The great and mighty things that he is doing you know when when all is said and done please look up we'll, we'll go to the scripture shortly but when all is said and done I really want us to understand that we do the things we do truly because we love Jesus let it be at the back of your heart for God so loved the world that he gave for the saints so love the father that they do the things that they do so all of the sacrifices and everything that we commit ourselves to doing is proof that we love the lord i just thought that someone that would inspire someone already that when you look at the things that you do sometimes it doesn't make sense the sacrifices don't make sense but when you are motivated by love then whatever it is that you do for his majesty you are consoled already that is worth the price hallelujah matthew chapter 7. we read from verse 9 from verse 9 to 11 is projected can we read together one to read or what man is there of you uh-huh whom if his son asks bread will give him a stone next verse or if he has a fish will give him a serpent it's a question hold on hold on jesus is talking with the people and this question is an attempt or was an attempt to correct something jesus remember we have taught again and again that he came as the revelation of the father it's important for you to know this until jesus manifested there were gaps in the understanding of God they didn't know whether God was responsible for certain things that happened or otherwise so they would attribute things that were of the devil anything that was superstitious or supernatural they believed that it came from God are we together now and so Jesus is attempting to establish the benevolence of the father Jesus is attempting to correct the notion listen carefully that the father's proposition of his love for his creation were a lie and jesus will use an expression that is very serious he used things that had to do with food are we together now he said which of you please give us go back to verse 9 or what man is there of you whom if his son asks for bread will give him what a stone number two next verse or if he asks a fish, will give him a serpent. Next verse. If ye then, being evil, being evil, that means there is a level of kindness, even an evil nature cannot take out of a man. Are we together? Like you see a wicked person, and a car capsizes in an accident and they all run together they are evil but there is still an element of kindness so jesus is saying although you are evil you still have the fortitude to be responsible to be kind and to be benevolent 
he says if you being evil know how to give what good gifts so bread is a good gift fish is a good gift your supplies your needs met is a good gift are we together now it says if you know how to give good gifts to your children how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him this is a statement this is a point jesus is trying to prove because until then the people had received a philosophy that god was selective number one number two that god did not have the fortitude to be so lavish in his display of love and jesus comes as the expression of god and he says no let me correct that although you are evil i don't see your children begging for bread are we together now that they will not ask you for bread and you give them a stone they will not ask you for fish and you give them a serpent a stone and a serpent can do the same thing they can kill you are we together now a stone can hurt you a stone can kill you a serpent can beguile you a serpent can strike you and he says am i am i i am i am not a man yet it is in men even the fallen nature could not erode that fortitude in men to show kindness the leader of Boko Haram has a family. And we've never seen the wife pasting something on the internet and say, don't mind this stupid man, I am hungry. As terrorists and wicked as they are, they know how to take care of their families. If you being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more? Listen very carefully. Your father in heaven will give good things to them that ask him is it not in your bible that says he that paraphrasing now that he that fails to supply one version says to his household has denied the faith are we together and the bible says is worse than an infidel meaning that part of the responsibility of fatherhood is to ensure that your family members become a reflection of your benevolence it's not enough to say you are kind and benevolent your family members and those under your watch must testify of your kindness are we together if i run a bakery for instance and i have children and you see the children loitering around a shop hoping for a little slice of bread that is not just an indictment on the children it is it is safe to use the children to assume that i'm a greedy and a stingy father because i cannot run a bakery my children should be tired of eating bread not to stand in front of a shop hoping to get a slice of it our inability to justify god's kindness is a concern to him and this is one of the things that the Lord wants to correct tonight. The father is not withholding good things. Listen very carefully. It is difficult to receive from God when you are in doubt whether or not it is within his power and it is consistent with his will to bless you. I will continue to drum it again and again that the primary purpose for our loving and seeking god is not things our relationship with god is higher and greater than things are we together however it is also true that our father is glorified when we bear much fruit the beauty listen carefully when any mentor trains a student or trains a protege it is in the ability of that protege to reproduce the result of the mentor that's his joy he says hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 when ye bear much fruit he says so then shall ye be my disciples there is a level of results 
that we must command as believers listen carefully and for as long as we fail to demonstrate these realities we will keep misinterpreting God and it will be safe for our loved ones and our territories to build all kinds of thoughts and philosophies about God so he puts together a convergence like this to correct notions that who told you I have stopped lifting men come for the miracle service who told you I have stopped wiping tears are we together now pain has a voice and sometimes the voice of pain and the voice of of the frustration that comes as a result of lack of notable results in our lives and our Christian experience the voice can be so loud listen it will numb the voice of the Holy Spirit to the point that if they are telling you God can do this and that you just look have you seen people who have been so frustrated every time you are telling them God can do something they just look at you and when you're done they say are you done please walk out of this place then they start telling you from year this to year that I serve God from year this to year that I gave my all I the first missionary that came to this state used my car and look what I have and God says that is a misunderstanding of who I am I will not want you to misunderstand me as a person we continue to strive to correct any wrong image of the ministry that is being created for instance, those who try to manipulate money from people in the name of the ministry, as most ministries would have, you know, people will parade in the internet as Joshua Selman, for instance. Every time I hear of such kinds of things, I don't keep quiet and say, God, do whatever you do. No, I, I, I make efforts to see that whatever security provisions need to be in place is in place. This is me, a man, an ordinary man. Do you think God's jealousy will allow him to let creation keep writing things about him that is not correct? If we do not allow the power of God to correct these wrong understandings, our children will come with an understanding of God that is inaccurate. Have you noticed that the average, I think it starts from teenagers. Our teenagers now almost have no regard for God. Because something about their experience has proven that God is not faithful. If you being evil, know how to give good gifts. We have our little children in this ministry and we love them so, so much. As soon as we share the grace, you see them jumping on me and jumping on everybody. And they don't look and say, Apostle, um, am I littering your cloth? Am I, they just jump and they are happy. They can, they can feel free knowing you are too responsible. Listen, it's an understanding. Sometimes they come and they just fly expecting to be held. They, are not, they, are not, they don't ask you whether you are tired. They don't ask you whether your hand is paining you. They just jump and hope you hold them. And although in our human nature, we still have... Imagine how irresponsible a man will be for a lovely child to just jump and then he looks at him and he falls. And he says, good for you. You will know that I don't play with children. No. I'm helping us to understand before I begin to minister that it is God's desire. Please listen. It is God's desire to see you lift up your prayer request and watch every single one of them answered. It does not take you to hell and it does not reduce your Christian life. Are we together now? Away with that thinking that when God answers our prayers, it will make us leave him. No, it is when there is already a heart that is not truly inclined to God. You don't need to have results to leave God. When your heart is not positioned on God and your love for him is in doubt, anything can take you away from him. But let me tell you this, my brothers and my sisters, when you love the Lord with all your heart and your heart is pegged at seeing that his kingdom come, 
there is nothing he will withhold from you you've heard my story i've shared with you that the lord told me son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you it is his will for you to have the supernatural results that you seek and it's important that we give god room to do these things in the lives of people if you are a preacher please listen it is good to teach people the word it is good to help people grow it is good to provide a platform for spiritual enlightenment but sometimes people don't need knowledge they need real results there are times that listen carefully there are times that you don't go to meet a patient in an ICU and tell the patient while you are almost dying take note of the following number one next time don't stay around mosquitoes number two and the patient is gasping for breath there are situations that don't need counseling there are situations that don't need advice there are situations that need a head-on collision with the power and the grace of God there are people sitting right now looking at me smiling but with death sentences in the name of medical verdicts that's not the time to start giving people any any advice you give people love the Lord in 10 years make sure you are consistent the person says I'm dying right as I'm dying right now take me out of that situation and then I can give you my attention to mentor me and build me. Hallelujah. I believe in miracles. I really believe in miracles. I believe in the manifestation of the power of God. I believe that the power of God can be made visible here and now. I believe that God anoints us to provide supernatural solutions. You are here because of the things you have heard God do. You are here because of the lives you saw him change. And let me tell you, your case will not be different tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. But I just want to encourage you so that you don't come hoping, will God bless me? Will God lift me? Is he interested in the joy that my family will have when results come? Is he interested in the new level of anointing I will receive? As a man of God, is he concerned that my church is going down? Is he concerned that everyone I laid hands on was not healed? Is he concerned that I am going down spiritually? The God we serve is a lifter. He does not bring people down who love him and stay true to him. So it's important for you to be ready to wave goodbye to all of the challenges that you made so much sacrifice to come here to present to God. Don't sit down and hope that, oh God, um, well, let's see what you will do. No, no. Remember, remember, I have taught you, for those of you coming for the first time, listen. The very factor that is responsible for results in the kingdom is the anointing, his divine power. Your faith only connects you to the anointing. It is not your faith as it were that brings you results. Your faith is like a host that connects the tap to the plant that needs refreshing. But it's the power of God. And let me tell you sincerely, where the power of God is lavishly allowed to find expression, then darkness must flee. Then lives must change. Then situations must be transformed. Are we together now? expect the hand of God do you know it's amazing how that you will see people gathered like this and you will think just because they are looking at a preacher they are expectant many people are used to God not working in their lives to the point that they don't expect anything they may look and say amen and hope that they will get something there is a level of hunger and desperation like Jacob, where you tell the Lord, I did not leave the east, the south, the west. I didn't travel out of this nation to come into Nigeria, come into Zaria, just to watch people get healed, get blessed, and share the grace and go back. No. There is a level of insistence. Insistence. Give us Hebrews chapter 11, please, and verse 6. Just a charge, and then we'll minister tonight. But without faith, the Bible says... It is impossible to please him. The him there is God. For he that cometh to God, this is a rule, this is a spiritual law, that he that comes to God must believe that he exists 
And then number two, that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Do you not know that transporting yourself from the great distance you came from is proof of diligence, is proof that you trust God? You held that report, you held that cancer report, you held that this and that report, and you continue to believe God. Our assignment is continue to align in prayer and through sacrifice to say, Lord, continue to multiply your anointing so that the issue that could not be solved in January can be solved in March. I've taught you how the anointing works. And let me just teach it very quickly for the sake of those of us who may be encountering this ministry for the first time. I taught you that the anointing works like money. Listen very carefully. That you only can solve spiritual problems or problems that are within the level of the grace you carry. The same way you can have 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira can buy you a few things. It cannot buy you a car. It cannot buy you a house. But it is still money. If you need to buy a house, you need more of the same thing. To the amount that can purchase the house. Every challenge in the realm of the spirit has a level of grace and anointing that can solve it. Just because you are anointed does not mean all problems will bow. I gave an example yesterday while I was teaching in Abia. And I told them that you can bring someone, for instance, in a wheelchair and keep the person outside. And a man of God can even lay hands on the person. And the person may not be healed. He will go back sick. Are we together now? You take the same person and keep that person in Benny Hinn's overflow. Not the main bowl. Overflow. And right there he comes and whilst he's singing, the person gets up. The difference is not God. The difference is the extent of the anointing. How God anointed Jesus. Not that Jesus was anointed. The information is not that he was anointed. Look at the extent to which he was anointed. You are a blessing when you stay with God to be anointed. To the degree to which most problems that come are under the level of your grace. People have come to me and with all humility, as soon as they begin to talk, I discern what their challenges are and I know that this problem is far, far below the level of the grace that I have. Sometimes I would not even pray. I would say, go, it's done. So the, the man of God's assignment is that while you are building your expectation, while you are paying so much to transport yourself to be here, while you are fasting and opening your heart, our own assignment is to stay with God, to say, I've seen your grace before, but evil is multiplying. There are situations that know there are superior levels of graces that can solve it. When someone loses 10 million naira and comes to you and says, I'm about to die. I don't know whether I'm alive or not. But the last time they told me I was dying, help me. At that point, that's not the time to start teaching him and say, okay, be patient. This is, you can teach him financial principles, but he needs that raven that fed Elijah to come to him quick. Let the raven feed him first. When someone tells you my life is not moving forward, all doors are closed. And because of that, my father is about to leave my mother. They have concluded that the divorce will happen in the month of May. That's not the time to settle down and start saying, oh, this and that, line upon line. They are, they are, a, a family is about to be torn apart. Oh, how we need the power of God in this generation. We need the power of God more than falling down. We need the power of God more than the jargons and the stories that we talk. Let me tell you, in the final analysis, it is his divine power that is the giver. And if that power is not resident within you to the degree that it takes to provide supernatural solutions, then you will continue to see people frustrated. If you're a man of God and you came here, listen to me. You are not a blessing when you are not anointed. Let me repeat myself. You are not a blessing when you are not anointed. You may be a good person. You may be a sincere person. It takes more than sincerity to be a blessing. The messianic prophecy 
Isaiah chapter 61. Please give it to us. Isaiah chapter 61. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. And then it says, because the Lord hath anointed me. The Lord hath done what? Please talk to me, Koinonia. The Lord hath anointed me. So the factor there is the anointing. And then it begins to list all the possibilities that can now happen on account of the anointing. It takes the anointing to preach glad tidings to the meek. It takes the anointing to bind up the brokenhearted. It takes the anointing to proclaim liberty. It doesn't take a mouth to proclaim liberty. It takes the anointing. You can have the mouth and say, be free. But it takes the anointing to proclaim liberty to the captives. It takes the anointing to open up prison doors. Next verse. It takes the anointing to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And then the year of vengeance of our God. Look up please. It takes the anointing to comfort all those who mourn. Verse 3, to appoint to them that mourn in Zion. So even in Zion, there are those who mourn. It didn't say to appoint to them that mourn outside Zion. They are in Zion, yet they are mourning. To give them beauty. Look at what the anointing can do. Hi. The anointing, please listen, listen, families, listen. The anointing can give a man beauty, beauty, beauty for ashes. Many families know what ashes looks like. When a family has 10 people and no one is employed, when a family has 10 people and the highest earner in that family earns 2,000 per month, ashes. But the Bible says by the anointing you can give men beauty beauty you came for koinonia with ashes and god says keep your ashes here take beauty as you are sharing the grace you are walking out with it and then you continue to see your life you know you have carried beauty by the results that follow it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then it says the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and then the fruitful vine counted for a forest Beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And then it says that they might be called the trees or oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. God is still beautifying the lives of people. My brothers and my sisters, don't get used to your situation. I know you've trusted God in spite of it. But God wants you to now continue trusting him without it. It's, it's honorable and it is noble to trust God in spite of it. But what if he takes the pain away? What if he takes the situation away? What if he takes the predicament away? It takes a wicked man of God. To watch what is going on in this country and to watch what is going on in the times that we live in and act as if nothing is happening to people there are real problems poverty is a real problem young people now have high blood pressure because after spending 10 years for a four-year course and graduating with a two-one you are roaming around the streets like an arm robber with your certificate that seems to have no value. Look at the, you know, we, we've, we've been talking about, I don't know if it's happening only in Zaria, but we've been talking about the increased rate of suicide, especially among young people. When you sit down and try everything and it does not work, you just tell yourself, I'm better off dead. And you, at least, my money cannot rent a house, but it can buy a rope. What can it buy? A rope. And the spirit of death will help you to buy a rope. And you find a tree and hang yourself. And you who should have been a blessing to a family has now died. 
and then people come to church with that kind of pain and a man of God says don't worry it's not all about your needs it's about Jesus I agree it's about Jesus but man was not designed to bend that law indefinitely there has to be an opportunity given when the Spirit of the Lord will step into the lives of people I will never never watch people go through things that the power of God can change and act as if nothing can be done about it no sir whoever told you that the power of God cannot do anything about the demons that oppress families whoever told you that the yokes of darkness can remain unhindered I know you have prayed I know you have fasted but I've told you why it did not happen it takes a level of grace Whoever told you favor has stopped working. Don't generalize pain. There are men who have found Goshen, a place of safety. There are men who have found Bethel. There are men whose lives are like Beulah and Hephzibah. The planting of the Lord. When God plants a garden, will it not grow? He says the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. This is the place of encounter. I want you to know that this is a place where God increases your convictions. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. This is the place where your life will change do to me what you want listen when the lord turn again the captivity of your family when the lord turn again the captivity of your destiny it says we were like them that dream how beautiful is it to see the other side of pain how beautiful is it to see the other side of a man's trusting God? How beautiful it is to see a man trusting God for grace. Lord, I know you still anoint men, but where is the anointing? When you see the other side of that man. How beautiful it is to see a wilderness turn into a fruitful vine and turn into a forest. I believe in miracles. I believe in the hand of God. I believe the supernatural can invade the world of men and correct and adjust things. I believe in 24 hours God can change a man's life. Listen, I believe in the law of process, but I believe in speed too. I believe God still lifts men. I believe God still uses men to make statements in a territory. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And God says, come, let me use you. Let me show men that I am still God, the lifter of men. I believe this. I believe that God is a healer. I believe he's a deliverer. I believe when men lose things, they can get it back. Yes, sir. Including time. Including time. I believe that when men lose things, they can get it back. I believe God can anoint ordinary men. Men who are just available. But the level of grace is not there. But I know there is a place a man can come to where you encounter the power of God. Everywhere is not the same. No. No. God is everywhere, but he does not manifest his power everywhere. I believe in the power of God. I was sent not only to reveal his face, but to reveal his power. To let men know that he's still alive. To correct misunderstandings about God. Please listen to me. I want to charge your faith before we pray. I believe that challenges can end I believe that problems can end did you hear what I said I believe a man can sit down 
and search left and right and only see the goodness of God. I believe it. I believe it. I believe prosperity is real. I don't believe prosperity destroys a Christian. I believe in the blessing of the Lord. I believe in what it can do to your family. I believe in what it can do to your children. I believe in what it can do to your health. I know poverty causes sickness. I know it causes worry. Nobody will preach into embracing nonsense. No. I believe a man can prosper even as his soul prospers. I believe in speed. I believe God can compress what should happen in five years in one month. I truly believe it. I truly believe it. I believe God can restore time. When a woman has been barren for seven years, if she gives birth to one baby, we thank God, but it's not a statement enough. When she gives birth to triplets, God took nine years of space in three, three years and compressed it in one year. Now, that's victory over time. The hardiness of the hearts of men will require some dimensions of results to break their pride to honor God. Please listen, let me tell you. We are not going to use stories and noise to get people to Jesus. Wealth is a weapon. The anointing is a weapon. Favor is a weapon. Mercy is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. What are you fighting with? Desire? You will not win. It takes you being equipped with the spiritual arsenals that have been made for the victory of the saints in light. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. I believe a man can weary the devil to a point where he will let you go. I believe you can live in a territory and create your own climate financially, spiritually. I believe it. Listen, out of everything I'm saying, throw away the ones you don't believe and open your heart to the ones you believe. I believe a believer can serve God better in an atmosphere of comfort. When your children's school fees are paid, you will serve God better. Don't let religion come with the pride of men and pretend that it does not matter. Yes, I know that none of these things should affect our love for God. But let me tell you the truth. There is a level of pain you continue to have that can harden your heart towards God. It takes time to know God. It takes time to serve God. And that's the time the devil does not want to give you. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around chasing money. You will never have time to serve God when you are moving around lobbying a way to, li to be lifted. Vain is the help of man. People of God, please hear me. God did not gather us tonight to waste our time. He gathered us tonight to make real the things in our lives that pertain unto life and godliness. Can I tell you this? Whether you believe in what I said or not, it does not change the truth. The truth was buried. It took only three days. It came out. So whether you believe in the truthfulness of what is said or not, you embrace poverty and see what it does to your life and your family. Embrace mediocrity and see what it does. Embrace sickness and see how much you will spend per week. Your entire resources, when you are finally broke, then the person will die. Is that sickness? Why will it ten, take 10 years to build one house? Is that a testimony? A prostitute will sleep with a man overnight and wake up by the next day with estates and houses and everything. Let's be careful the things we say about God because many of them are not true. 
please hear me especially for our precious visitors don't magnify your challenges and come hoping God will change your life we are talking God here not a doctor not a consultant not an architect not a monarch the God of the universe you may not be sick in your body but who told you he cannot change your life do you not know he's called the father of spirits that God can speak to a man while you are here and compel him to bless you that God can give you a dimension of grace that you didn't enter this building with you and you turn back and on Sunday you climb your pulpit as usual and suddenly fire a new dimension of grace do you believe in what I'm sharing if you being evil know how to give good gifts let me tell you you can hold on to the hands of God and say it was never about your hands it was about your heart but tonight I need your hands too in addition to your heart step in over my life step in please don't give up on God wake up don't give up on God don't come here hoping I've waited waited the God of heaven can compress time if you don't believe all this there's no point being here tonight because we are going to pray and you must insist that tonight is not the night when I will clap for anybody I came to mean business with my destiny listen when we begin to pray I like you to insist that anything that does not bring glory to God in your life must leave this night no matter what it is some of you may need to rewrite your prayer request again because of your pain you've stopped writing some things you just concluded that God this one just just leave this issue no when it was time to resurrect Lazarus he said roll away the stone roll away the stone prove that you believe in resurrection by rolling away the stone two things men did they rolled away the stone and they lose the man what if they lose Lazarus and they found out he was not alive or he just fell and collapsed? Your destiny must open up tonight. It's not a blessing for people to doubt. The Bible says to be diligent in these things, to prove your calling and election, to make it sure. There are things that must be in your life to validate your call and your election. If you're a man of God here, trust God for grace, for God's sake. Just go and stand before people and just open a scripture and speak and close it and say, let's pray. No. That's what the scribes did all the time. But Jesus came and opened and read the messianic prophecy. And he said, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. They thought they would share the grace. He closed it and he told the guy with the withered hand. He said, stretch your hands. These things I write to you, O excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. Can we pray? Please find a serious neighbor. And I like you to pray from the depth of your heart. The gift is only given to them that ask. God cannot assume you desire it. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry to the God of heaven. Outside, pray. Those following online, pray. Lord, visit me. Lord, visit me. Appear to me by your word as it were in Shiloh.
pray over your ministry pray over your business pray over your career pray over your destiny Lord I came that the gates be open tonight Elam shalawa kasada kaparatus Empra kato seke de kaparianda kapariasha Pray Pray That devil must leave my destiny today that wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Pray, pray, don't look around. That wilderness must be turned to a fruitful vine. Place something upon my life, oh God. Place something upon my destiny, upon my business, upon my church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer point, and the Lord will set this place on fire. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. Read with me, please, if you are a believer. One, two, read. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Lord, do to me as you have spoken. You said many things about my life. Do it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. I've heard you, but I need to see it. Do to me as you have spoken. You said I am the head and not the tail. Do to me. You said with favor shall you encompass me as a shield. Do to me. You said you will restore the years the canker worm has eaten. Do to me, oh God. Pray, do to me, oh God. Visit my family. You said you will wipe away every tear. You call 2019 my year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Do to me as you have spoken. Do to me, oh God. You said I will have my child in 2019. Do to me as you have spoken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Look up. Please look up. I want you to receive every grace that the Lord is going to be releasing in this place. Because you see, let me tell you, every grace supplied to you is the strength to survive the squallow of any season. And if you do not obtain the requisite level of grace for any season, you will find out that your life will remain barren and unfruitful. Truly, I came, I came with all my heart tonight. I, I don't want it to be a miracle service that we just play around casually. Please believe for something to come upon your life. Believe for a grace to come on your life. See, this thing about anoint, if it's not there, it's not there. Period. Very simple. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray. I will stand tonight praying on the grace for speed. Hold on, hold on. Please listen. There is a reason why I continue to say this. Many destinies are too slow to glorify God. Are we together now? When the devil cannot keep you at a standstill, then your progress will be so slow. It is said, I must walk the walks of him while it is day. That means I need to gain time. It says, for the night cometh when no man will walk again. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, there is a real grace for speed. If you have not seen it, it's because it's not on your life. There is a real grace for speed that vetoes the sentiments of men. So I want to pray. I want to start from there. And then we just allow the Lord to take us. Be conscious of what comes upon you. Be conscious of what comes upon you. That's how God answers prayers. He answers prayers by putting something on your life. That will compel creation to begin to act in a way and a manner that will change your life. Are we together? Please lift your hands and let me pray. I believe in the grace for speed. I have seen a measure of that grace. And I know it is true. That God can shift a man. I'm going to pray and release this grace and inside and outside that anointing and the anointing works let me just tell you the anointing works you will see people begin to run it's it's not anything superstitious it is just the character and the operation of that anointing we need it the Lord put it in my heart we need it for our businesses ministries and so on and so forth Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now, inside and outside, I stand by the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I declare right now at the count of three, let this grace for speed that you have provided even for this season, let it rest on people now. I release that grace. Take that grace now. Please bring them out. Take that grace now, inside, outside, everywhere. I activate the operation of this grace. I shift your life in the name of Jesus to strange dimensions in the spirit. Receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for Kabakatalika Parusia. Receive that grace for speed in the name of Jesus. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot. 
and overtook the chariots of Ahab to Jezreel. I command speed, 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 speed. Bring them out. Speed. Keleba, help that woman, please. My God. Kela parus kamana katashikata. Embrakato selekete brakato. I'm still praying in the name of Jesus. It says, Ye have encompassed this mountain for too long. Turn ye not what? I prophesy again. Like, like, like fire from heaven. Let that grace for speed mantle a family now. Not just an individual. Let it come upon families. Families receive speed. I shift you. I shift you in the spirit. New level speed. Speed. Bring them out. Speed. You will never be the same. Never be the same. I'm not praying for individuals now. I'm praying for families. Any family stagnated here. I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost and I prophesy speed inside and outside. I release speed right now. Now the Lord is that spirit, he says. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains on people's legs. Chains. And the Lord is saying, the Lord is bringing deliverance now. I'm seeing chains. If you are under this category as I'm praying now, the fire of God, I'm seeing fire moving. But not on people's heads, on people's feet. I decree and declare. Is it not written that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty? At the count of three, anyone whose destiny has been pegged by these chains, I declare be free now. Be free now. Let the power of God come upon you. Be free now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. I want to pray God I'm telling you I'm seeing this is I'm still seeing it chains you see let me tell you this look up look up the Bible tells us that there are many things that should happen where the Spirit of the Lord is one of it is Liberty do you know what Liberty is It's a separation between you and the obstacle that mocks God in your life there is such a thing in the dealings of God with men has given men liberty I want to pray there will be a mighty deliverance right now many of you this is what has plagued your life if it is true that victory was wrought on the cross then it's time to establish it now please listen to me just follow with the instructions be childlike in your heart and let God give you a testimony are we together now He said, while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tears, sowed weed among the, I mean, among the, 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 the wheat. And he, we are going to destroy everything. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. I'm going to pray and at the count of three, I will ask you to shout that name. My God. I don't know what kind of bondage I'm seeing this night, but except God is not God, you must be free. Right now, in the name that is above all names, I pray for individuals and families alike. It is true that there are yokes and ordinances of darkness that have held men bound, but in the name of Jesus, everywhere here overflow one two three outside as you shout that name that is above all names i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of god 
in your life and family must jump out of your destiny at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command forces and your go now go now release destiny release destiny every ordinance that is not the planting of God let it go now let it go now I'm speaking by what I'm seeing in the spirit let it go now I'm seeing a vision of a man with a handkerchief wiping the tears of a woman and I know that this is, is symbolic because the woman stands for the bride, the church and I'm seeing the Bible says he will wipe away every tear. I don't know what family and what person came here crying. But the Bible says to comfort they that mourn. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon your life now. That terminates everything that brings tears. That terminates everything that brings tears. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Young lady, please shift this one. You, lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, eh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Oh yeah, yeah, say. My friend lift your hands this yes you the Lord is granting you the spirit of revelation I saw something come upon your eyes and the Lord is saying he's taking you to dimensions of revelation let her go now now release her family now in the name of Jesus please listen I, I know that we don't have time, but please, I want you to, every time the Lord shows me this, then I know that he wants me to move around. I begin to see lights, a similitude of angels by my left and right. And it's, it's, a, very, it's a very mysterious way that God moves to touch people. When this begins to happen, all I need to do is you don't have to touch me, just move around your road. Listen to me, except God is not God as he has anointed as i pass your role if there is anything that is not of god it must let you go are we together now so please you pray the moment we do that then we'll begin to minister to the sick these things are signs and wonders they are supernatural they are supernatural even by the spirit thank you jesus please I just want you to believe by faith just believe by faith and then as i pass the lord is going to touch you it will be the end of it's not something you can do anything about you are under the influence of the anointing are we together now thank you jesus
that everything that is not of God must give way in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be liberty now liberty now in the name of Jesus Madam be free I take it out of your life now the hand of God is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ receive the Lord is touching you I'm seeing God's taking something out of someone's stomach here it's going now now I release it now be free now be free now be free now in the name of Jesus be free now I'm seeing fire rising from this row just from I don't know who it is but fire is coming on someone from this row right now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Something is leaving you. I'm standing here. There is the power of the Holy Spirit is setting someone free here within this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the name of Jesus. Help that woman, please. She's holding a baby. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands here. Everything that must leave anyone, I declare it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please, all of you here, just lift your hands. Right now, I stretch my hands. Now, something is coming on people right here. Be free now. 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 Now! Keep praying, lift your voice. Overflow one, keep praying. Something is about to change in your life now. Please, you don't have to touch me. And I want you to help everybody close to you. As I pass, the anointing of the Spirit is touching everything that needs to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Be free now. 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 That anointing is touching you. 
right now be free be free be free be free i take it out of you right now the fire of the holy spirit right here where i'm standing right here where i'm standing the lord is taking something out of your life be free i'm standing here and the lord is saying it is over he's speaking to someone it is over an anointing is coming on you now it is over 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 madame be free now the power of god is touching someone here in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus be free be free be free be free, be free. Be free. Please help them help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves be free now in the name of jesus i declare and declare be free be free be free every devil of darkness be free now. please open your heart and receive stretch my hands here anything that help be free now be free now be free now be free now In a chain a chain around here i don't know who that person is but i lose you now as i stand here i lose you now by the spirit of the living god i lose you now i lose you now hallelujah overflow one i don't know if i'm able to walk around it's working now please believe it's a few minutes god is touching you you came here so that he will visit you it's impossible to not testify now please look at me overflow too i'm not going to pass in your midst i will walk right here and as i walk the power of the holy spirit will begin to touch you thank you jesus be free now be free now by the anointing of the holy spirit now 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 be free. I take away every reproach. I take away every reproach. You can't stand it. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. We're talking of the anointing here. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. Every reproach, go now. I stretch my hands here. Go now. Go now. Every reproach. Sela kaparato siketa. Every reproach, go now, go now. I release your destiny. All of you standing here, I'm passing now. The power of God is coming on you. Be free. Praise the Lord. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk around. I may not go row by row. Please, let your heart be open. Please, accept God is not God whatever it is that has held you as i pass by the spirit the power of god comes on you some of you will be receiving impartation it's not everybody that is going to just be free from whatever it is father in the name of jesus honor your word right now in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus right now be free. i may not be able to move but please lift your hands all of you at the count of three overflow three let me hear you shout the name jesus the moment you shout that name i'm seeing like i'm seeing like fire coming out of people this is something living people are you ready now one two three be free now be free now be free now be free now from the front to the be free now in the name of Jesus I release your destiny now I release your destiny now madam look at me I set her free now Release her destiny right now. That woman you are holding. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Listen, I declare to you, I, I release speed inside. I want to pray that prayer now. I don't know what has slowed you down. Overflow three. From the front to the back, may the grace for speed come on you now. May the grace for speed come on you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, whether you are an usher or not, help anybody under the anointing close to you. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what has held your destiny bound, but in the name of Jesus, one more time I want you to shout the name Jesus at the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. You came for a miracle service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Overflow 3, look at me. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family. I will soon walk out, but I just want you to know you are part of and that it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. The Lord is showing me a family here. There is a plague of sickness. Everybody from father to the last child. There is nobody who is fine. Right now as I'm speaking, the power of God is coming upon that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overflow 3. I'm seeing the number 21. This is the healing anointing coming on 21 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. This is not a healing miracle. This is the anointing to heal. Right now, from the front to the back, upon gentlemen and upon ladies, receive that grace. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Please, everyone, overflow. One, two, three, main auditorium. Please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit and declare that everything the Lord is doing must find expression in your life. Lift your voice and pray.
please lift your voice and pray. Please lift your voice and pray. 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 God is changing something in someone's body. A blood disease. Just right where I'm standing. A blood disease is living right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see, let me tell you, when, when we do these things, we are not wasting time at all. You need to see what the Lord um, did in some of those overflows. There are people who have real issues. And sometimes, Madam, please lift your hands. I'd like you to shout Jesus as loud as you can. Let the name of the Lord be praised. The spirit of prayer. When I was in overflow three, I saw that grace. Would do an impartation, but it's in this season. There is a spirit of prayer and supplication that is coming upon the body of Christ, especially in Zaria. There is a spirit and there is a grace for prayer. In the name of Jesus. Take that grace now. There is a grace and there is a spirit of prayer that is coming upon the body of Christ. You don't pray just by self-will. There is an agency. I declare now in this main auditorium, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, I stand by the spirit and I declare receive a baptism of this spirit. Flames upon your prayer life flames upon your prayer life flames upon your prayer life i declare capacity in your spirit man capacity i swing open the door for utterance in prayer grace to pray in the name of jesus christ someone in the media stand is receiving a baptism of the spirit of prayer a fresh grace a baptism of prayer hallelujah you see let me tell you this please listen one of the systems for enforcing dominion on earth is the ability to legislate in the place of prayer and when the saints cannot pray and pray with understanding then nothing will change within their territory an attack on your prayer life is a real attack on your spiritual life nobody prays out of convenience there is a grace that must come upon a man to pray Hallelujah. If you are in ministry, I pray again for the grace for prayer. Let me tell you, if you are a man of God and you are not a man of prayer, you are not in ministry. Believe me, you are not in ministry. It's only a matter of time you will know you are not in ministry. I decree and declare a supply of the Spirit, an ability from heaven upon men and women of God that anyone who has the call of God upon his life whether you know it or not, the grace to pray, take it now. 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 The grace to travail. Not give me tea and bread. Not give me tea and bread. To pray destiny altering prayers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'll quickly minister to the sick now. Um, please listen. For those of you who are coming for the first time, we usually 
take prayer requests that I pray for now. And if you have not written your prayer request, please do so. You can get a notebook or just beckon on someone by your left and right to just give you an opportunity to write. While we are doing that, please, um, I will minister to those overflow one. Okay, the main auditorium and overflow two. Please listen. Main auditorium and overflow two. Um, when I ask you to come, you will come and stand in front here. You will be ministered to right here. Overflow one, you will stand in front of your projector stand. That away from the canopy to allow for space. Now, um, will I call it overflow two B now? The overflow that extends to second equa. Someone will come there to minister. All those who are trusting God for healings, protocol ushers, please just coordinate them. You will stand in front there and then overflow three. Um, okay, there's another overflow down towards overflow three. Um, they will join the ones at they will join the ones at um, the second equa area. So let that be a single overflow too. And then finally, overflow three. You can walk to the front of your projector stand. All of you who desire to be prayed for. We believe in the healing power of Jesus. I believe in miracles. And our time is gone. You'll be ministered to very fast. And then we'll tidy up other things. Whilst that is going on, please, we're trying to conserve time. You see that a, a standard miracle service has to really be a vigil. If you want to do a thorough walk. You're not going to be able to do a thorough walk within two or three hours. But we're trying to just do the best we can do with the time that we have. While you are coming out, please, ushers, PR, join them or any other department um, to collect the, the prayer request. Those online, you can connect by faith if you're trusting God for healing and you can submit your prayer request and then it will be prayed for here. Praise the Lord. I believe in miracles. If you have written your prayer request, um, the ushers or you'll find a few people who will lift up their hands or lift up baskets and you'll be allowed to put it there now very quickly those trusting god to be ministered to um for any kind of healing make your way out quickly just like i've designated please quickly you come stand here by faith overflow one in front of your projector stand overflow three in front of your projector stand overflow two you can join um, those in the main auditorium here. I hope I'm doing the right thing. And then overflow 2B and 2C, let me call it now. 2B extending to second equa and 2C extending to the gate of the third overflow. All of you together will form one overflow and then we'll minister very, very fast. Very, very fast so that we can finish. While you are doing that, please... Please let me advise, especially for those outside, as you are walking out, make sure your phones, your bags, and any of your belongings is safe. And then help those under the anointing. God is delivering people, setting people free. And let's just let him be God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Accept the people ministering to you, ask you questions. Don't worry. Just a touch and then you'll be back to your seat and check yourself whether you're on a wheelchair or on a crutch or sitting whatever the situation is whilst they touch and they minister just expect a miracle hallelujah father we give you praise in the name of jesus within the time we have we pray that your healing power will flow let the sick be healed transform our lives visit us in a new way glorify jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let incurable situations live. And I pray, God, that you give your people testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In a Jiraka, Sir King
Your name is a strong tower, Jesus. To you belong all power, Jesus. Whenever I call your name, you will make. These are the guys that came from um, where? You came from Thailand. This gentleman is a professional footballer. Where's your colleague? Where are you? Come. We salute your coming. Both of them are professional footballers. What happened to your legs? Our last league match last year, so I got a fracture. From and from there, it affected your career. You're a footballer too. You came all the way from Thailand. You believe Jesus will heal you? These are your, you see, you cannot, I don't even know what this, this does. I asked to stop because they are, we're having some interesting cases today. Please shift. God is doing a serious miracle for this lady. Said she had, is it ovarian cancer? Ovarian what? Something like that. Mama? Oh dear. Look what God is doing. She will be healed, eh? Amen. Because when I looked at her, I did not see a pregnancy. I saw something that looked like a mass of something. This is demonic. Huh? Where are you from, madam? Where did you come from? From Benue, from Kano. From Kano? Yes. Jesus, look what is happening. Let her be healed now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mama, don't cry. 
cancer i speak to you you have a name you have a voice release this lady now in the name of jesus my friend look at me you came all the way from thailand in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god this fractured leg i fix it back now you see what is happening to you what do you feel happening to you huh look at me go run Don't mind them just focus on me if you're having pain we're not acting here huh? so if you're having any a miracle has happened to you when i held your leg i felt the power of god moving through you you see this thing you see is a very demonic thing it's not about fracture do you understand number one come my friend you're together too i want to pray for you you see god is looking for people to represent him in every sphere huh? just because you are footballers doesn't mean that you ignore God many footballers don't love Jesus they love football and they love the money that comes with it but we are not only here God has perfected this let me pray on the x-ray please father in the name of Jesus let this miracle remain forever Amen. I want to pray for both of you I'll, I'll see you after the service and just say hi since you came just to honor you but listen to me I'm sure I don't know you have never seen you can I prophesy on your career in the name of Jesus the son of the living God from today let the anointing of the Holy Ghost you are a footballer but you play by the anointing my friend it takes more than just kicking a ball I release the grace to excel and for you I release the grace to excel right now two of you will return back to Thailand and the Lord will honor you in Jesus name God bless Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place. Take your place Take my body, my soul, my spirit Breathe on me Take my body, my soul, my spirit Breathe upon that fibroid Breathe upon that lump Breathe upon that genotype issue Breathe upon that bone condition. Breathe upon HIV. Breathe upon cancer. Breathe upon rheumatoid arthritis. Breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues. Breathe upon weakness in body. Breathe upon eye conditions. Breathe upon ear conditions. Breathe upon reproductive issues. Breathe upon digestive issues. Breathe upon respiratory issues. Breathe upon neurological issues. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I am going to pray. There are so many people outside and all the overflows and thousands more following from across the globe. Give Jesus a chance. Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God. I believe in miracles. I truly believe in miracles. And right now I want to pray for you. Now listen, don't start calculating and asking how will it happen just like that mary asked that question already 
how shall these things be seen that I know not a man he said the power of the highest so the power of the highest is about to overshadow you and listen listen how the Holy Spirit got to the womb of Mary leave that to the intelligence of God that is the same way his power he does not need to open you with a surgical knife he can get to your systems your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in Jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when I pray for you I want you to believe whether or not I mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and I'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do the moment you check yourself I'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you if and when I ask you to come out I want you to come out don't be afraid the moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before believe in Jesus take your eyes away from the sickness I learned this from Benny Hinn. he said in in all his years of crusading around the globe he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed and so worship helps us to focus on Jesus and you take your eyes away from the bodily condition and the moment you look at Jesus you are changed into that which you are seeing place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting God for a miracle you can stand in for someone I see people following from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give Jesus a chance just help those under the anointing I'm about to pray right now and I'm praying in the name of Jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely the centurion stood in for his child majesty just keep your hand there your majesty your grace has found me just as I am empty-handed but alive in your hands your majesty Majesty Forever I am changed by your love In the presence of your majesty Keep those hands there now you do mighty things you do glorious things the healing power of jesus is flowing you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things one more time you do mighty things you do such healing streams in this place right now now in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god the one exalted today as lord and christ I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity I rebuke the root cause of every disease I rebuke the root cause of every plague 
in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit help those under the anointing every spirit of infirmity every devil behind medical conditions blindness deafness dumbness blood conditions allergies in the name of Jesus and by the power that raised Christ from the dead I banish you from these bodies right now in Jesus name now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed now 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 from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you the life and power of Jesus be made whole right now in Jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of Jesus I command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear I declare the ears open right now in Jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin I declare by the power that raised Christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all I decree and declare be healed now the Lord is ministering to me my God I'm hearing help that gentleman I'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ and I'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from Federal Medical Center here in Abuja the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the help them please the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ back pain the Lord is healing back pain in the name of Jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now I declare begin to walk in the name of Jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of Jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you I don't know if, is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of Jesus let that sense be restored now I've seen God minister this case before that he's showing me you are you are a young lady you are not pregnant yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon you right now and I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now the Lord is healing a condition I'm seeing a vision and I'm seeing PID this is what I'm seeing it whatever that means in the name of Jesus I decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now now the Lord is showing me a very interesting condition here there is a woman I'm not a doctor um, and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant I see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a, a condition that you have right now the power of God I don't know where that person is right now the power of God is touching you right now 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here 22 months of carrying a child 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the Lord I flush it out right now now listen we are still praying it is it is still I'm still ministering healing but I'm seeing the power of God moving away I'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what I'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of God is coming upon you right now at least 21 people be healed in the name of Jesus There is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now i don't know i'm seeing someone i don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain I don't know if you are following online but in the name of Jesus I want you to release your faith I bring you life be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone in the overflow outside the overflow outside you're beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary, urinary problem from what God is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what god is telling me outside in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of jesus christ i command that devil to let you go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood I don't know what that condition is but you are urinating blood in the name of Jesus right now as I'm praying for you may the power of God touch you now there's someone you've been feeling something on your throat is as if um you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and it remains there it's been stuck for a long time in fact you are considering going to go and see the doctor so that they will check it maybe it's something that they need to take away right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least two people with this condition my god the lord is really healing i'm seeing several cases i'm seeing you wake up in the night and sit just sit on your bed you don't sleep for more than three hours no matter how long there is a spirit you can't once you wake up you can't go back to sleep again this thing has deteriorated your health i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed now that person is at the back the back of this auditorium this is what i'm saying that whoever that person is there is a spirit you are at the back of this auditorium may the lord bring you healing now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone my goodness whatever you eat you have to throw it out uh, throw it up like you know how children eat and 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 throw up there's someone like that you are unable in fact you are being concerned that you are losing weight it's not like you are you are losing weight because you eat and then you just feel like you need to throw up something and you throw up what you have eaten 
is a demonic condition in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now I'm seeing a lady this thing has brought shame for you a part you had a dream and from that dream it's like they shaved you know how you go to the Babin saloon and they shave part of your is it your head or something like that there's someone you had that and from that time your hair does not grow again this is a very very demonic thing right now whoever you are fire is coming on that person now nose bleeding there's this thing they call nose bleeding that you just stand i'm seeing a gentleman you even wake up in the morning sometimes and you see blood your nose is bleeding you've gone to the hospital they treated you they gave you drugs but it seems like it's not gone right now the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ now i'm seeing someone your 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 tie is it a surgery it's like they had a surgery and uh, of course respectfully speaking i don't know if it's that it was not done well but it looks like something is still broken there i'm seeing like the bone the bone here is still broken you are still feeling the pain it's not like you cannot walk but there is something broken there i declare healing right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in Jesus name we change medical conditions right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus be healed in Jesus name hallelujah now there is a woman sorry to have to describe the condition I'm seeing that your left breast started growing mysteriously like something is it looks like a lump or some you noticed it you are at the back this is a demonic thing you have not shared this thing with anybody i'm seeing this is a demonic thing it looks like a lump but if we don't pray against it they will tell you that you need to go for surgery because i'm seeing that this the devil wants to put cancer in your body we curse that spirit now hallelujah hmm. I'm watching a vision right now and I'm seeing someone pick like a cup of water to drink but that cup of water you see it was not ordinary water from the day you drank it something started happening to your teeth it's like you are losing your teeth one by one you've extracted some now and it looks like it's, it's like it's rotting I don't know it's, it's a condition you are feeling is literally it's as if you can pull out your teeth i don't know who that person is by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now now any health pattern running through families whether hepatitis my god whether hiv headache I'm going to mention a condition right now and when I mention that condition the power of God will start coming on a few people please don't be embarrassed this is a family I'm seeing symptoms of what we call obesity you don't have to be fat to, you are carrying that thing within you the power of God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ inside outside this is at least seven people is obey you know what obesity is that you you begin to get uh, you know ridiculously fat without controlling it whether you eat or not in the name of jesus i rebuke that demonic thing from your blood be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's a lady right now as i'm speaking to you you came here with terrible abdominal pain like abdominal pain it looks like there's fire all around your stomach you're going to feel that thing one more time and then it leaves you will never feel it again i bring you healing right now in jesus name now i believe that several miracles have happened here not just the ones that i i i you know i declared by the word of knowledge 
there are several people who have been healed this is what i want you to do we're going to hurry up i'm going to ask you to check yourself and the moment you check yourself already miracles are happening i will ask you to quickly please those who are outside all of the overflows and then those who are following online you can send in your testimonies all across the world let us know what the lord is doing for you right now there are people within this auditorium and there are people outside this a place the overflows even across the road the power of God has touched you check yourself I want you to make your way very quickly and come and stand here let's have a few testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they come celebrate them very quickly as they come hallelujah now while they are coming are you seeing the Lord touching people koinonia is this the best you can do please open the doors for those who are coming from several overflows let them make their way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ whilst you are seated in the next one or two minutes I want you to pray in the spirit and declare that the spirit of poverty and lack over my life just do what I'm asking you to do break it right now by prayer lift your voice and pray whilst you are seated everywhere those who have been healed make your way to the front make your way to the front in the name of Jesus while we are praying check yourself outside any and all miracles check yourself all the overflows do what you couldn't do before you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself do so very quickly do so very quickly jesus is healing jesus is healing you could not move your body move your body right now you couldn't see far try to look far right now Please make sure you direct those who are coming from outside. If you need to open the doors for them, let's know so that we have them here quickly. Those who are healed and coming from outside, check yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. You are rebuking the spirit that is behind poverty. You are rebuking the spirit that is back of poverty. There are principles, but there are spirits. It is God's desire to prosper you. Keep coming. Keep coming. In the name of Jesus, miracles are happening by the Spirit. Healings are happening by the Spirit. miracles are happening the lord is also showing me a woman you gave birth and since you put to birth your body has not been normal something happened to you and it looks like you've been sick having like fever again and again and again long after you are done giving birth the power of god is also touching you right now and he's bringing you healing he's bringing you life in the name of jesus if you're coming to share your testimony make your way to the front very quickly Usher's protocol, let's direct them very quickly so that we save time. Awesome God, how great thou art. You alone, mighty are your miracles. I stand in all of your holy name and lord we bow and worship awesome god how great thou art you are lord mighty are your miracles Some of them can move here. There's no space.
hallelujah sir this man wearing white please can you stand don't be embarrassed can you place your hand on your neck i want to pray for you i don't know what is there but the lord is asking me to rebuke it in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may the anointing of the spirit bring you life right now and bring you healing i command a release for you right now in jesus name i pray hallelujah now just hold on before we start taking the testimonies please sit if you can please sit if you can just just Bring everybody out now who begins to shout under the anointing, whether inside or outside. I'm seeing angelic activities. The Lord is bringing an end to very strange, mysterious occurrences. Bring them. Everywhere, all over the overflows. There's something mysterious God is removing from lives and families. Bring them out. We're talking about the power of Jesus here. Bring them out. You can't stand it. It's not, it is, this is a word from God. God is separating you. He's bringing something out. You will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this. Remember, Christ is revealed as the power of God. There are still more people. I saw so many people in my visions. That anointing is coming on you. All over the overflow outside. Literally, an anointing will lift you from your seat. Literally. Let the end come now. In the name of Jesus, let the end come now captivity always has an end let the end come now around the balconies i'm seeing angelic activities around the balconies in the name of jesus let the end come now let the end come now in the name of jesus christ let the end come. you you can't stand this is the power of god come who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand, Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. No one will. Oh. Just be patient, we'll take the testimonies. But God is doing something here right now. I'm looking at 14 people. 14 people. I'm looking at you in the spirit, but I'm not seeing a face. I'm seeing you covered. You know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood. The Lord is lifting that hood right now. That is the garment of shame. 14 people. The power of God is coming on you now. 14 people. The garment of shame. The garment of shame. Parakotos kedepata. We tear off that garment. Now from your destiny. Tear off that garment. From your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ.
that lady the third row first second third i command that spirit to let you go now in the name of jesus the third row in front i rebuke that devil let her go now now in the name of jesus release her i'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes let her go now Who is Chinedu? I'm hearing a name Chinedu. Who is that? Chinedu. Now, the overflow outside. I want you to prepare. I want to pray a prayer for you. Something is going to happen outside. The overflow outside. Who is Chinedu? Where are you from, my friend? State. I'm no, from this man. Abia State. Huh? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God is going to use you yes. as an instrument of deliverance? Yes. Don't just move the people. There's a reason why I ask them to come out. Yes. Ushers, don't just move them out. I'll pray for them. When I ask them to come out, is to pray for them. Huh? Yes, sir. You believe that God will leave them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This deity huh? yes. that was worshipped, yes. you know what I'm talking about? Yes, did yes. Did they tell you about it? Yes, yes. What did they tell you about the deity? That there is a deity that was worshipped. Yes. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes. Because I see you, you are a sincere man, but if I don't help you, you are rising and going down. You are rising. No, no, give him the mic. And you are going down. I want to pray for you. There's nothing to cry about, my friend. Please look up so that we'll save time. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray right now. I use him as a point of contact. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm praying for someone, but the anointing is leaving me and is touching someone else. Thank you, Jesus. The person the anointing is touching is an usher. You are an usher yourself. You are walking, but the power of God is touching you. Because God is bringing liberty for you. This person that the power of God is touching is an usher. Why are they here? Chine, do all of you? I will pray with you. There's one of you here when I make the altar call, run and come and stand to Jesus. Run when it's time for the altar call. Because you need to make your ways very seriously right with Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I command that spirit anything that has to do with ancestral worship that is haunting you back paraka ancestral worship ancestral worship ancestral worship worship of deity there are some of you here you even see these deities appear to you right now I command by the power of the Holy Ghost let them go now release their names Every name submitted in any shrine, submitted before any altar for your destruction, I declare be free now. Help that man, be free now. I set that shrine and that altar on fire, on fire. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. And for all of you who are here in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you, the Chinedus. I don't know who, but I just saw an anointing coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God is taking something out of your body. I declare, be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please hear me. Don't feel bad and don't be embarrassed. This is a miracle service. There is someone... Is it your father or your grandfather was directly a priest like like a um, um what they call them now who is that person i want to pray for you something is happening here directly i don't mean maybe directly your father a priest a hap, like a i don't want to use a, a word that may be dishonoring but you know what i'm talking about a practitioner of witchcraft directly your biological father come and stand here
Your name is to be hallowed. Adonai. Your name is to be worshipped. Adonai. Your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now, please, don't listen carefully. Don't misunderstand me. We are not saying you are evil people and we are not saying your parents, they, they, I'm sure that many of them just got into certain practices. Listen, there is one of you here, don't feel bad. I'm going to pray for you. What your father or your grandfather has done has killed a lot of people and the causes of so many people are on that family. Listen to me, what I'm telling you. Because, I, well, I don't know now. It's difficult to, I'm I have to just obey what God is telling me. Please don't come out carelessly. I'm not saying if there's witchcraft in your family. We're all from Africa. I mean if your father directly was involved in this. No, no, if they, if they are there, let them, I will pray for them. But one of you, I'm sorry to use that expression. Your father is a herbalist. He has been responsible for the death of many people, including a man of God. And there have been there have been causes and yokes to destroy that family. We have to pray. Again, this is a family of love. I hope you understand what I'm doing. And please, we are not doing this so that you point fingers and condemn people. Remember that the anointing comes. Jesus has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Because there are some of you here, you will think it's a joke. The, the ill speaking of people as a result of diabolic things do you know that every herbalist has children and when you say oh god destroy those who have caused me pain what do you think you are saying hallelujah young lady my dear look at me this fair lady where are you from huh? christ Eva. Ah, jesus christ out of her now in the name of jesus My goodness, my God. You see, let me tell you this. Please hold on. Um, you know, when I teach, it's good to listen to me, listen to everything I'm saying. And I'm also bringing this word of love and caution to those who put messages. Make sure that when you are putting these things, you put everything we say. Don't just cut part of it that suits you and then use it to misrepresent people. There are two families here, married couple. This is the real cause of the problem in your marriage. The cause that has come as a... It, it's all right, my friend. What is it? You are a herbalist? My father is a sorcerer. Huh? sorcerer. Your, my father. No, no, don't worry. Don't feel bad. Eh? Where are you coming from? I'm from Edo. Akoko. Don't worry, I'll pray with you. Parents, let's repent and serve Jesus. You see, all this trouble that people parents there i mean fathers grandfathers and you if you are coming from a family of idol worship don't let idol worship come out of you be that bridge are we together look how many people are here all of these people will be married some are married what do you think will happen to that home some are in business this is why you can invite somebody and say come let's do business together you just thought that you are inviting just a body but you may not know you are inviting altars and every time believers pray and say, God, punish evildoers, what do you think will happen? That's why it takes the ministry of the blood. We just finished a ministry on deliverance. This particular lady I just prayed for from Cross River, I need to pray because there is something terrible in this family. One of you here, your father has, to, is it your father or from your lineage? You are supposed to literally take over the priesthood. Who is that person? directly oh, and they have been calling you as you are now come come and stand here let god help you i don't mean a vision no they've told directly they are calling you now that you should come and take it ah. lord of heaven don't listen listen please let's let's be orderly here this is the house of god let them come forward where are you from my friend huh emo state sir emo state yes sir i want to pray for you 
you see my friends when jesus comes he truly can set free this gentleman now they are calling him do you know what happens when you reject that call if you do not know jesus christ and you don't have spiritual intelligence you will not have a life again that altar will tear anything if you are married sorry for your wife and your children if they are not grounded with understanding look at this fine young man but these wicked altars this guy probably went to school and yet the altars don't care my friend look at me do you believe in jesus christ yes, i do yes sir is it your father my grandfather sir your grandfather yes sir. he's still alive no he's gone he's gone yes sir. and you are supposed to take over yes from my maternal home from your maternal home yes how about you my friend my grandfather and when he died his picture disappeared so i was told that i'm the uh, my auntie the elder uh, uh, father my elder uh, fathers called me that i should come to the home before she died that i should come there's a message for me i'm the one that's supposed to be in the shoe you are the one who is supposed to yes but God has called me as a pastor. That's all right. How about you? Mine, it was my grandfather. My father was the only son. So when he died, my father was supposed to take over. But my father refused, became a pastor, and was frustrated. Now, I am the only son of my father. In other words, if my father took over, I'm the one that's supposed to take over from him. Both of us are in ministry, we're frustrated. You and your father are both in ministry? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Currently, my father's two legs is currently swollen up down to his private part very terrible situation battling with life right now you see what i'm saying i hope i'm not getting you to be afraid but i'm just telling you that when god puts a miracle service like this believe me you don't want to know what people are going through my friend this man this one lifting his hand yes there sir. is a serious prayer i need to pray for you talk to me sir i was told that my father has a call of god upon his life but he chose it the wrong way and since i was growing up i was told that I am going to take the place of my father. Now he is late. Where is your father? He's late now. Listen sir. to me. Don't feel bad. Mistakes were made. It's a wrong group that led him. I will not say more than that. But he was involved in things he should not do. Do you understand? And the Every deity, alive or dead, every priesthood behind any altar, that is troubling your life manipulating the happenings in your life because they are trying to call you back in the name of jesus christ i decree right now let fire fall now help them let fire fall now let fire fall now every occultic initiation they took you somewhere and initiated you into all kinds of demonic practices i declare be delivered now hear me and for all of you who have been threatened to come home and take on certain priesthoods in the name of jesus any altar that will not let you go i stand right now as a servant of the lord jesus christ you see there are two sides to god there is lion and lamb it depends on which one you choose to see in the name of jesus every altar alongside the priest behind it i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them swallow them swallow them in the name of Jesus hallelujah therefore I declare all of you who are out here I declare you free by the Spirit of God go and prosper in Jesus name you see let me give you an advice if you are coming from a family of intense witchcraft and priesthood don't be lukewarm in your christianity you either choose to be deep into this thing or to be very serious with god if you come out and you just stand at the corridors of salvation these altars will tear you you hear what this my my dear friend is saying your father is now paralyzed 
Huh? His two legs are having problem. Completely. Completely, the two legs. Are. And he's a pastor. Yes, sir. Where is he? In Kogi, sir. In Kogi? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Kogi, sir. I'm a Nigala. Do you know you have a prophetic call? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You do ministry with integrity, yeah? Thanks. Sir. And the Lord will help you. Amen. There are many things you need to know, but then God will help you. Amen. Listen and learn and grow. Amen. Father, use him mightily. Amen. The Lord will use you to bring an end to these demonic patterns. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a place called Aimba. Do you know that? I'm seeing the power of God rest on people right now who are from that region. Listen, listen carefully. I just saw fire and I saw that name. Everyone who comes from that region, if there is any altar that is holding you down, I, I'm not asking you to come out. You can just remain there for sake of time. Listen, I'm praying now. Help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what covenant connects you to all of those things by the blood of the eternal covenant be free now in jesus name those who came out for that call whether you are standing at the aisles go back rejoicing in jesus name go back rejoicing in jesus name hallelujah now there is someone this is strange there's someone the lord is asking me to pray for you you deal in spare parts that's what you do but i need i don't know why god will ask me to single you out and call you and pray for you is there someone like that i don't mean you are just you are this is what you do i want to pray for you because the salvation of many people is connected to you when you find that person please let me let me have that person we're about to pray let's take a few testimonies to glorify jesus who is ready who is this one why is he here you are healed spare part where in our person in the name of Jesus Christ you too okay so join him let me just pray for you even though in my vision this these are not the people I'm seeing but then I will still pray for you father in the name of Jesus help these people it may look like what they are doing is small but I prophesy to you that though your beginning be small your latter end will greatly increase. May the Lord prosper you. And he's prospering you not just for your sake. He's prospering you for the sake of your loved ones. Because you need to be there for them. He's raising you as a savior. May he honor you. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Okay, very quickly, let's have the testimonies. Yes, All sir. Right. Um, so, Apostle, she came in here with very severe pains in her throat. She was Pain in your throat? Yes, sir. How many years, my dear? Sir, I I normally have a sore throat. Okay. So but when this pain started, it started last night. I was so scared that it yes. would be the sore throat. Yes. I took hot water. It did not stop. Today, as I was even sitting down there, I was having the pain. It was so serious. But as you were preaching, as you were praying for us, you, you, you mentioned of, of throat pain yes. and the pain and the pain Completely disappeared. Completely gone. I can swallow throat uh, spit now. In no the pain name again. of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Amen. It never returns to you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Then, sir, we have two fantastic testimonies again. Yes, please. You spoke about people that, you know, had been stammering. And okay. And they were healed. So I've been stammering for like 20 years, sir. It's been very difficult to talk. Sometimes. Stammering? Yes, sir. You are yes, sure sir. of that? Yes, sir. Who knows him? I have a classmate. You have a what? We have, we have someone there. Who knows him as a witness? Tell us. We've been friends from secondary school. You've been friends from secondary school. Yes, He's sir. been a stammerer. Yes, sir. Right now. Yes, sir. Even when we came this morning. Even when you came. Yes, sir. And right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repeat after me. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, should not perish but have eternal life. But have eternal Come on, life. give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. 
in the name of Jesus my friend it will never return to you and and for this good friend for coming to encourage him in the name of Jesus may good things look for you in the name of Jesus Christ yes please let me hear the testimony of you. all right sir so it's similar case boy how are you I'm fine sir what is your name Alvin Alvin. What happened to him? Who brought him? Sir, he, he actually was healed from stammering too. Oh, you were healed from stammering. I was wondering why the boy was there. Okay, say Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Say Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, the boy is crying. Stretch your hands towards this boy. Let's ask the Lord to use him. These are the kinds of things we want. When this boy becomes a preacher, he will remember his stammering and the healing alone can be a message for the lifetime of the ministry. Don't despise him. When you see an adult, you have seen what he will become. But when you see a little boy like this, pray for him. Father, use this boy mightily. It's been our prayer for many years that Koinonia children will become mighty battle axes in the hands of God. And it is still our prayer. May the Lord use you mightily in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate him. God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those who have surgery done in their tie, not properly done. This lady came. The surgery was done 15 years ago. L let her speak. Um, the surgery was done. It was from an accident. You had an accident. Yes. How long? 15 years ago. And what happened? Um, femoral fracture. Uh -huh. So it happened that the bone didn't join properly. So um, one inch, one leg is longer than one by one inch. I'm not able to stand on the other leg. And lately it has been paining me. So I went to do a stray. Okay. So said, you couldn't stand on the other leg. Yes, and severe pain. Okay. Lately. And right now, there's no pain. At completely. All. Which of the legs? This right. Match with it. Let me see. I've been standing on it for. A oh, while you've been standing now. on it. Look yes. at. She couldn't stand on it. She came there with the pain today. You came in with the pain. Yes, sir. Walk. But now she's healed. Any pain? Any pain? The same case for our brother here yes. four years ago. What happened to four you? Four years ago. So four years ago, I have an accident. One hour, I'm working in Philly Station. So all of a sudden, I was treated by all those traditional medicine. I have been seated for more than one year on the floor receiving my treatment. So look at the evidence. The leg is not even set because of the injury on my leg. So it used to inch me sometimes, the leg used to hold me. Wherever I'm even praying, I can't even do this on my own. But after the prophecy, I key to the prophecy, all of a sudden, as you declare, yes. instantly the pain just went off. Hallelujah. Stand up, my friend. Stand up. Please come. That's not why you came out. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. You see, the association you are part of determines what happens to you. You are a great man, but it's, it's not for me to speak, I'm on air, but something has been done to you. You are loyal and obedient to a grace and anointing that you served. And they did many things in a bit to open your eyes prophetically. This is a demonic thing. You need to be delivered now. I stretch my hands. I release you from that spirit. Out of him now! In the name of Jesus Christ. It is true you are really called to be a prophet. But not by this thing. You see, if God does not open your eyes, your eyes cannot be opened. All these things, I'm, I'm, not, being, I'm not being sarcastic. But all these things, they, they drag you to the river and all of this. There is a scriptural way to obtain grace. And we have to be careful because we may be sincere people. But let's be careful. When you, you are only safe when you walk within the zone of scripture. This person is not a bad person. Are we together now? And I'm not maybe condemning or talking about any ministry. But we have to be careful. In the name of Jesus, again I set you free. This spirit that appears to you, let him go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is, there is a wicked pattern. Southern Kaduna. God is going to use you as a mighty vessel. I'm releasing this grace on you. Mighty vessel. 
there are people within that region that God will use you to bring supernatural deliverance to. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's give Jesus praise. We gave word of knowledge for those with bleeding gum. She had had the challenge for four years. For bleeding, those who? Bleeding and swollen gums. She has, she has gone to the confidence, used her tongues. It's no longer bleeding. Bleeding what? Gum? Gum. For how long? For over four years now, sir. And right now? It's gone. Like gone it's completely. Gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Very Short quickly. sightedness from birth. Healed from birth. birth? From birth. Now she can What see couldn't you see? Like, um, colors. Colors. And then letters. It's really hard. But while we were preaching, I felt heat all over my face. So I had to sit down. And then when I got up, everywhere was beautiful. Everywhere was beautiful. And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what will again? In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very ready, sir. Um, please come. So, similar experiences we've been having. We've been having twin twin miracles, Apostle. So, let's just take them. Yes. Praise God. I had this breast pain for over a year, and while you were speaking before the prayer started, the, the pain vanished. Completely gone. Yes, sir. How about you, my dear? Praise the Lord. I had a dream that a dog wanted to suck my breast, and I refused. Immediately, I woke what up kind from of the a dream. dream. You, you see how my these right Luciferian dreams are? You, hold on, please. There's a lesson there. You can see anything that is not consistent with scripture i have taught you when you get up don't just record it and leave it there you rebuke it in the name of jesus every dream is a seed by the principle of biology a seed are you understanding not not meeting you have to receive the seed for fertilization to happen so that dream is a seed you can receive it through fear and it will start growing and manifest or you can reject it Barrenness is a condition where the woman's body can reject the seed of a man. That means you have the power to reject certain seeds. Like this kind of demonic seed. So you have a dream that a dog was trying to suck your breast. I refuse in the dream. So when I recall immediately. You know those I the Bible call dogs? You see that? Yes. So I noticed I fasted and I prayed about it. After what some happened time, now? I started feeling the pain three days ago. I went to the hospital for checkup yesterday. Yes. They palpated my breast. There is not no seed and not nothing. Today, when I came to the side, the breast was paining me. So I touched it. I'm not feeling any pain again. It's gone completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, for both of you, I decree and declare that the workings of darkness will never prevail over your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, sir. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with movement in their body. Now, she had an encounter 10 years ago that she swallowed something in the dream. And since then, it's uh, 10 years ago, Straight I had to the, the dream. point, madam. Yes. Yeah, I swallowed a serpent. You and swallowed? A serpent, a snake. In a dream? Yes, sir. Okay. So, ever since, I've been having hot flushes and then things crawling on my body. While you were giving the word of knowledge, I fell under the anointing. So I had to come out. Even while we're saying something about altars, I fell again under the anointing here like twice. Remember what I taught? Christ revealed as the power of God to destroy those things. Your body is not a zoo. The snakes move up and down. So anything you swallowed, I'm praying for you again, that anything you have swallowed that is of the devil, I command it to leave you now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's give Jesus praise. Next, please. Very quickly. Our mommy here, the same thing since 2009. Something has been moving in What happened body. to mama? Let her speak very quickly. Yeah. Since 2009, I had a dream and someone scraped my, the middle of my hair. And since then, it doesn't grow. And Your hair doesn't... Oh, the, the woman I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, again, uh, any, any time that I eat, it seems as if the food doesn't go down well. And again, another thing, I used to feel a uh, moving object in my body. And everything, the Lord has stepped in. Yes. Mama, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. None of these things will return to you again. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. One more, yes. Scrape here, 13 years ago. 13 years. Here, scrape. Let us speak, ma. So, 
was sleeping and I dreamt and in the dream uh, they shaved my head. Now, are you, no are you noticing these patterns? Remember the prayer we prayed last week that your dreams be supernaturally sanctified. Your dream should not be a point of initiation. And in case you were not there last week, I pray this prayer for you. Or you were here last week and did not take it seriously. Everything manipulating your dreams. You can see that they're having experiences beginning from the dream. But then it is manifesting physically. I pray for someone here. Everything manipulating your dreams and visionary experiences to confuse you and open you up to vistas of destruction. I declare be free now. Be free now. I sanctify your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. But since then, the hair refused to grow. The I, hair refused to grow. It refused. I have. I don't even sleep. I pray. I'm not sure I'm hearing her well. Hold I on. I pray and pray and pray and pray and What pray. do you mean the hair refused to grow? There's nothing there. I'm bald around here, but I, normally I, I have really thick, long hair. But they shaved it all around like that. And I don't see how a woman can be bald on top. Oh my I'm God! Around this, and then things started moving in my body, and then things started changing. My my um, favor started going away. I would yes. go to work, and people would turn against me. I'll be nice to people, and they would Th turn against all right, me. That's all right, ma. I'm going to pray for you. Thank God you came for the miracle service. She I pray for you. She, she, came she came from, from the U.S. Yes, sir. My God. You see, whether you're in America, whether you are in London, once it is altars, they will fish you there and accept the power. The Bible says that except one greater than he comes to bind the strong man. Look at mama all the way from US. Look at this kind of evil on this woman. If the hair of Samson grew back, then I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Madam, please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus Christ, between now and the next three months, we declare supernaturally, let your hair grow back. And all these doors of favor that have been closed, I declare in Jesus' name, let it be open for you. We declare that as you return back to US, it will be strange testimonies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, for four years, she for 17 years, you spoke about, you know, people lactating and God healing them. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm here to testify to the goodness of God because I've been lactating for more than four years. I went to the hospital and they checked me and they said, um, it's normal, but I know it's not normal because I'm not pregnant. There's nothing wrong with me. So when they were praying, I could not even wait for the prayers to finish. I ran to the restroom. I made sure I used the energy in me to press and nothing came out. Four years. How about you, my dear? Yes, um, for 17 years I've had this issue, but it became more obvious after my surgery. My right ovary was taken in 2019, taken out. You had so, a surgery? Yes, sir. Oh my Ovarian God. cyst. So I wake up soaked most times. Or if I press the breast, it comes out like it's a, a straight movement. So after you pray, last year you prayed about it and it stopped. Do but you have I children? A, no, sir. I'm not married. You're not married? No, sir. And yet the surgery, you're, oh my God. Can I pray for you? Do you believe God can give you brand new ovaries? My dear, look at me. Do you believe in Jesus? You believe I'll pray for you? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Place, you just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, we thank the doctors for doing their best. But right now, the same power that created the heavens and the earth, I stretch my hands. Right now, brand new ovaries. Amen. Amen. Agree with her. Brand new ovaries. Amen. And I use her as a point of contact to pray for anyone here, trusting God for a creative miracle. Perhaps by surgery or whatever, something has been taken from your body. In the name of Jesus, weep not, for the Lord is giving you a brand new one. Let me tell you the truth. In my lifetime, I will tell you this. If I'm joking, you will know I'm joking. I have seen someone who they performed surgery. They removed one of the bones and put metal. God is my witness. They put metal. And the person was supposed to live with it like that. 
and the person met me because he had a condition there's something the people feel i don't know if it's that during rainy season or when the weather is cold or something of that sort it will affect the person imagine like putting you know something that can absorb cold inside the person i was angry in my spirit i laid two of my hands not one two of my hands and cried to the god of heaven that person went back this is a miracle that happened many years ago the doctor was shocked i spoke with the doctor myself they did the x-ray they could not find any metal there again i know that jesus can create new organs and my dear i pray for you again don't cry you may not know what this means to her as a woman but in the name of jesus christ let there be a creative miracle now in jesus name i pray and for the dear one four years the lord perfects you in jesus name i pray yes please very quickly next apostle six months no menses i've been having menstrual complication and hormonal imbalance i can't even count my period but for six months now i've not seen it so i woke up with faith that will see it i even took a strap pad i wore pad so when i came you said we should go and check so immediately I, I just saw it i just saw my period can you imagine six months hormonal imbalance last year i had bleeding serious bleedings like i was giving birth like too much i was even scared of even my message to come so it sits for six months now bless your hand on your stomach father in the name of jesus we normalize everything in your body now Amen. it will function for you normally after the order of women Amen. every abnormality and complication we cause it now Amen. this miracle remains permanent for you Amen. in jesus name please return back celebrating yes please apostle you gave word of knowledge for difficulty in breathing and abdominal pain yes Three of them they were healed by the power of god let me hear yes for the past two weeks i've been dealing with shortness of breath and abdominal pain from the residue of an illness i've been battling but instantly the anointing came on me and i've been healed in the name of jesus it will never return to you again Sent by the power of the holy spirit it. all three of I'm you in my print. i decree and declare in jesus name let there be supernatural healing for you right now it will never return again in jesus name you gave word of knowledge of people that eat and throw back what they eat now these are i mean twin twin brother ruminates that is he eats them bring it back and they eat it again like rumin ruminant animals for years so why you well, raise no, no. the prayer what, what do you mean eat and bring it brings it back where he will throw up you throw up no you eat like and ruminate you chew the cord oh, you, like I what you are eating you bring it back let again. her speak no she's not the one he's our twin brother uh, let her still speak what happened to him the thing is that for more than 10 12 years now my twin brother when he eats he throws up back is that normal doctors no he has issues with his esophagus and his digestive system and they said the way we went for test almost 10, 12 years ago they said that there's a tube there's there's a place in the system that is supposed to be small and it's open and the place that is supposed to be open is small and what happened now while you were praying i called him on the phone yes. i called him on whatsapp to do video but he was not going through so i called him directly and i said just be saying amen they are calling your case just be saying amen right. and the more you you kept on saying that he, if he, if they stand up at night they can't sleep my brother doesn't sleep he will be up his back will be what's on the his wall. name Ken, they are like the suru. Ken, then in the name of Jesus, we use your sister as a point yeah, of contact. Abuja at, at Guarimpa. He's in Guarimpa now. Yes. In Jesus' name, we perfect his condition. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He's not a ruminant. In the name of Jesus, that, that demonic thing stops now. Amen. We normalize his organs in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And for you as a sister, you're standing. Do you have your own testimony? No, don't worry i'll pray for you in the name of jesus whatever it is that god has done i seal it and i perfect it in jesus name i pray amen yes sir all right so apostle you gave a precise word of knowledge yes sir. regarding a young man that is bleeding from his nose bleeding through your nose yes yes sir i've been bleeding for more than 15 years actually it was um, one of the days i was playing while i was young and um, I just bent my head and suddenly I saw blood. My and God, there are was, so many testimonies. And I was this. like, I told my mom, my mom said, I should just pray. So it, has, it happened even this morning while I was coming to church. I uh, what happened to you now? I felt that same sensation that the blood is going to come out. I was ashamed. So I was just checking it a little bit and found out that there's Completely. no blood. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
may it never reoccur again amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Then, Apostle, I want Minister Kenny to read a profound testimony. You mentioned PID, something regarding PID. And now we have a testimony online. Daddy, we have amazing testimonies okay. online. We have someone from Kaduna got healed of PID. Daddy mentioned her case and she got healed instantly. We have someone else from Spain got healed of allergy. Whatever he eats, he throws up. He went to eat and has not thrown up since. We have another woman from Benin. Mm. Apostle mentioned that there is someone with difficulty in swallowing, like the throat is blocked. Yes. I keyed into it, she says, and kneeled in front of the television. And let, let me tell you says, this. Let me tell you this. Just pause a moment, Kenny. Do you know, no matter where you are across the globe, we thank God for the privilege of technology, provided you can connect by faith. You see that? In a moment, the same thing God is doing here. It's possible that you can even be here and not receive. And someone can be at the ends of the earth. It's about your connection by faith. Yes, sir. And Apostle said that there is another person with the same case watching. Immediately, he rebuked the condition. I started belching I, and I went to spit. The Holy Spirit directed me to drink water and the anointing oil. I am healed. Completely. We have someone from Rwanda. Apostle wow. mentioned her case of breast pain. She got healed instantly. We have one more person, and we've not yet been able to ascertain his location. But he says he has balls all over his body for a long time. Boils. And it, yes. And immediately you mentioned that case. He says, balls moving from one part of my lap to another, disappearing seasonally. And as Apostle ministered, instantly i can see them i cannot see them again they all disappeared hallelujah in the name of jesus christ amazing yes please four years arthritis healed arthritis pain. yes pain mama, in her leg for mama the past how long has that been since 2018 2018, 2018. Yes. what happened to you i've been having pains i went for my younger brother's uh, wedding after the tradition on sunday for us to come and give testimony my two legs started pending me. I can't even walk. I, when I said, let me carry a stick, my husband will shout, how can you use stick and be walking? Yes, Actually, what happened to you now, ma? But now, as we are praying for arthritis, the pains, I would, I, if it is the time that it was yes. me, I wouldn't have been standing for a, a long time here. But now... The Move pain, your legs, mama. Any pain? No pain. Any pain? Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? In the name of Jesus, you are free and free forever. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You gave word of knowledge of a woman who wakes up in the night and will not be able to sleep again. Yes, ma'am. The power of God touched her when you gave that word of knowledge and she fell under the anointing and she's healed now. Right now, completely. This, this is a son here to testify. This is the son. Yes. What happened to mama? Um, she has not been able to sleep, uh, especially since uh, last year when we lost our sister. And um, oh my well, God. I brought her to Abuja to stay with me for a while. Okay. And... Um, I noticed that trend. That oh, she's not been God. able to sleep? No. She was, she was built to go back, but she said no, that she's going to stay for this miracle service. Let and me encourage you. Listen, let me use this opportunity and encourage you. You see, there are times, humanly speaking, there are certain kinds of losses, especially of people you love, that when it happens, it can wreck your whole life. At that point, no human can counsel you in a way that comforts. At such point, you have to tap into the ministry of the Holy Spirit called the Comforter. Men can comfort, but there is one called the Comforter. He can minister to you in a way that no man can. You can see her own, it's not just a medical condition. You lost your daughter, mama. So you can see, that's the pain of a mother. It's going to take a long time, but the Holy Spirit can come as a Comforter. And I used mama to pray for everyone who has been bereaved. I want you to receive by faith now. You've been bereaved within the last one year, especially that you are struggling. You don't know how to just, you have been asking questions. This is still a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, I use our mother here as a point of contact to pray for everyone here who has lost a loved one, mother, father, brother, siblings, parents, we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare that the Holy Spirit ministers to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Now, I will tell you why I'm praying for you. Help that woman. I will tell you something that you need to learn. There is a spirit called the spirit of grief. It only comes to you when negative things happen like losses. It will steal into your emotion. When the spirit of grief comes, it will destroy you in a way that you cannot imagine. It's good to mourn, but there is a spirit called grief. I learned this from Pastor Kenneth Copeland. I heard him teach about the spirit of grief. Now, you can never, you may never, we, we cannot imagine what it takes by the privilege of the work that I do as a man of God. Um, you know, when people lose their loved ones, I'm usually about the first to know. And so, whether or not I'm directly related to the people, no matter how hard you are as a man of God, sometimes you just have to be strong for their sake, but you will still feel it because you are human. But I have seen the spirit of grief slip through these moments and remain with people and families and destroy them. I know people who resigned from their workplace, resigned from everything and said, you know what? I know people who committed suicide. Have you heard of such things? After they lost loved ones, they went to kill themselves. That one is no longer mourning. It's the spirit of grief. Mama, I use you as a point of contact. In the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven by his spirit comfort you. And I declare anyone here suffering from the spirit of grief as a result of the loss of a loved one, be delivered from it now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes. One year arthritis healed, confirmed by the medical doctors. One year arthritis. One year arthritis. Year arthritis which, of the, which of the legs? Left or right? Hepatitis. 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 Oh, hepatitis. Gone. Yes, Gone. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural healing. Both of them? No. She put to bed 2018 and then her body has not been in a normal shape. You get she could not, yes, she could not stand for a very long time. But when you mentioned that case, she fell under the anointing and then she's been standing completely, completely healed. In the name of her body Jesus fixed. Christ, it will never return to you again, my dear. All of you who are standing, you are healed right now in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, his first time here in Koinonia. You're welcome. Just relocated Most welcome. From and yes. God visited him. Hallelujah. Good evening, Apostle. How are you? Over two months ago, I had a I just woke up and I had a pain in my private part and I had bruises all over. I prayed over it. It went two, two weeks after I came back severely. This is my first time and I was upstairs. I was praying as we were praying along. The power of God hit me and the pain stopped. I was just, it's my first time. I didn't know the protocol, how to run out here to come and give the testimony. I just came to just say, Jesus, I thank you. In the name of Jesus, that demonic thing will never return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, please. Praise God. Also, Very quickly, let's let's see uh, if we can reduce a few of these lines, and then we'll month, just pray. Last general. month, I was here with uh, ulcer symptoms. Ulcer. Uh, yes. Okay, what but, happened to you now? So when I went back home, I went to run a test, and it was not there. even here. Last month, uh, in, in the night, they tested me. I was not having the ulcer, but I was still having this symptom. In the name of Jesus, I declare you are supernaturally healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. Next person. I felt the same ulcer two days ago. So when I, before I came here, I didn't feel it. But You've been healed of ulcer in Jesus' name. Let it never return to you again. Yes, sir. We need to hear this testimony. Yes, I've been, I've been interested. I've been looking at her. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not too qualified to give this testimony. <laughs> so let me allow Dr. Come. Doctor, yes, please. Okay. Um, Daddy. This child has what they call juvenile diabetes. So it's just um, diabetes starting from an early doctors, age. Doctors, doctors, doctors. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you find them having very high level of blood sugar. So as of this morning, they had about 20. About 20. That was the blood um, level, um, sugar level that okay. they recorded this morning. So, 20? Um, yes. How old is she? 12, 12 years. years. So usually they take, um, there's this drug, they take insulin just to help maintain the yes. sugar level. So after the prayers and all, he believed, trusted God, and then they went to the medical stand, and then they checked the sugar level, and it was 3.3. From 20, a 12, listen, if Satan does not spare a little girl like this 12-year-old, 20. My dear, how are you? Fine. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
we pray for this our little one it will never go beyond normal again in Jesus name and in the name of Jesus I declare you grow normally you are healthy in Jesus name let's celebrate Jesus God bless you yes please well, so apostle well this is not directly related to healing but yes. quite interesting um, you know the people you called out and prayed for okay just praying for them sir her dad has been calling her she will, she will explain father you mentioned um my father has done diabolical things you mentioned my father has done things with innocent people's blood and my father immediately i came out my father started calling me my he started father, calling you he started calling me immediately i came out he started calling me immediately i came out oh both house. of you you are sisters yes. where are you from kogi states he started calling you that what happened we haven't picked up the call because we know that he wants us to come back home. What do we do to these things now? <laughs> Listen, dear ones, look at me. You believe in Jesus Christ? Don't be afraid. Are you Muslims? You're Christians? Don't be afraid. Um, let me tell you something. There is no weapon that is fashioned against you. You see, it's very difficult to do whatever you want to do because this is their father. I declare that no charm and no enchantment of darkness against you will strive. Yeah. See, it's very difficult when the person who the devil is using is related to you. It's easy to shout and kill any other person who is not a relative, who is any other person. But now, this is, this, is, this is your own father. They love their father. Don't cry. Can we pray that God will save that man? That is a scriptural approach to these kinds of things. God is able to save unto the uttermost. Don't you think because he's involved in diabolic things, God cannot save him? Ask Saul, who became Paul. Father, we agree as a church right now arrest and visit the father arrest and visit the father we pray for his salvation and in the name of jesus we pray that he is preserved and as for you i use you as a point of contact to your siblings and i declare you are preserved supernaturally in jesus name please go in peace do not fear in jesus name apostle another case of rumination here Regurgitation. Okay. Since when she was a teenager, she has had that challenge. She will eat, it will come out, then takes it back again. But is that true? When you mentioned that case, the power of God came on her, so she went to drink water and then and it's, it's, gone. It's, it's gone. Secondly, a woman visited me 29th of January that I meant to serve a uh, water. A spirit. woman? A woman. She okay. has been calling me since last year. The then woman has been calling you? Yes. Physically or spiritually? Physically. That I'm, I'm meant to serve water. So, like where are you from? I'm from Enugu State, and my father was so diabolic that two of my sister's husband have died. One is a pastor that just passed on August last year. So she came to 20, uh, this 2022 uh, yes. and said that I have to serve Shirai, that I should leave church. I told her, no, that I'm called to serve God, not to serve Shirai. So when she left, I saw a casket on my bed. And the woman is late? No, the woman left, but I was seeing a vision of a casket when she left my room. So, and I started having a kind of, my head was as if I was bleeding. So things I like don't this, kill, but anybody that made a casket for you must enter inside it. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me say it again. Anybody that makes a casket for you, I decree and declare what happened to Haman, the same way he built a, a gallow to defeat Mordecai. In the name of Jesus, I say it again. Anybody conspiring with darkness on account of your case, they will, they will, they will get into their own destruction. And in Jesus' name, prophetically, we warn that woman, whoever she is, in the name of Jesus, if she will not let you go, she will follow the way of her man for sure. In Jesus' name. Listen, you are a believer. Don't let anybody threaten you. This is a world that is full of people who will take advantage. They will prey on your ignorance. Are we together? Nobody, even Jesus Christ, gave us room to choose him or any other thing. Don't let anybody force you and say, you must worship this. It's demonic. I said before you, life and death. 
blessing and cursing. He tells you to choose. Hallelujah. Okay. Yes, All right, sir. sir. So we have very interesting testimonies here. He was here let's, last let's year. Let's take two. Okay. Well, Please, can, um, we use, can I? Are this all of these testimonies? Yes. Now here's what will happen. Um, I, I want to be encouraging all those who come out. It takes a lot of courage to come out and testify. And sometimes because we are constrained by time, here's what I want you to do from now on. Ushers or PR, whoever. When people come out like this to testify, if they don't have a chance to testify, what happens is that give them a chance to register their names so that by next Sunday, we can start with them to testify. There are so many people to testify and because of time, we'll just pick a few. So I think PR or ushers, those responsible can do that. We, when people come out and stand and they are not given a chance to testify, they become discouraged another time. Are we together? If, if this were a, a vigil, for instance, we'll have enough time and then we have to do some other things and finish on time because there are people who stay very far. This is what is uh, at the back of our rushing so many things. Generally, a miracle service like this, when you are dealing with issues, you will need quite some time to really deal with matters in people's lives. I'm sure one of these days, God will grant us grace to do a vigil. In the name of Jesus Christ where we would take out time and really, really address issues in people's lives in Jesus' name. But for some of you who may not be allowed to testify, please don't, don't feel bad. Um, make sure that we'll give you room next week. You come, um, we can start just squeezing to the service so that we give more time for testimonies and have them come to testify. But let's take maybe two or three so that we can finish um, because right. I want to speak over your life. Remember the four things we spoke about? Even before we pray over those requests, it must happen in your life. The spiritual progress must happen. The financial breakthroughs. Are they here for testimonies? If they are here for testimonies, just collect their testimonies. Mama is here for testimonies. What happened to you, Mama? Oh, dear. Hallelujah. Have you, have you vetted her? Okay, Mama, straight to the point, eh? God bless you. Um, technical help us, please. I'm among the uh, people that you said uh, something is moving all over their body. Okay. So as you prayed, the something left It's me. gone. In Jesus' name, Mama, the fullness of your days you will fulfill. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Okay, Apostle, so we have... Sorry, can we have the camera here? Just to... So he, he had a cast on his leg. Um... Oh. And Please show us. Can we see it? Is that possible? A cast. Last year. Last year he had a cast. And he was healed when he came here. And God followed up with another. Praise the Lord. My name is Farouk Danjuman. Last year when you started the Koinonia, I came here with crutches. And I told Oh, you myself, came here with crutches? Yes. What sir. happened to you? And I said my next visit to Koinonia will be... I won't come with the crutches. Yes. And you prayed and... That was the end right of that purchase. Right now, you're completely then, free. Yes. Then this one happened again. You know, I was on a platform, and I was about to fall. And then by my side, there was a snake. Then I screamed. That was a dream. A dream. So, and I screamed. What, what happened now? We don't have all that time, man. Eh? Just straight to I the point. What did the Lord Jesus leg. Christ? And then this, this hand refused to go after taking so many. And right periods. now. And right now, yes. the Lord healed. We establish your authority over snakes and scorpions Amen. and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are Amen. perfected in Jesus' name. So, sir, Let's take 10 two years more ulcer then. healed by the Ulcer, 10 years. Asthma. In the asthma, name. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Asthma. asthma. Wow. Praise, praise. Sorry. This is the inhaler she uses. Okay. I was sitting right there, so I started feeling heavy pains. I started breathing very hard. So the next day I took my hella, and whenever I take my hella, I don't, I don't stand up at yes. all, but it makes me weak. So you say we should put our faith in action. Yes. So I stood up, Mira I stood up, I hold the chair. When I closed my eye, some people held my back, I did not know the people. Then I saw as if I vomit, like in a vision, I saw myself as if I vomit.
committed a lizard and ran out. Last, uh, when I was 12 years, when I went to my family compound, my parents, there was a night I came out very early in the morning, so I saw a lion. Hold on, let me pray for them before they move, eh? Please, just stand, let me pray for you. Yes, go ahead. So I saw a lion very early in the morning. I never told anybody because nobody would believe me. So anytime before they asked me to come, I used to see this lion. So immediately I saw this, this lizard coming out of me when I, I, I bent down. I saw the lizard coming. When I and you are completely back, healed now. Yes, Breathe I went in to and the out. restroom. Breathe I in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. When I climbed the stairs, I That's I all right, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's celebrate her. She's healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Now, supernaturally, oh dear, there's one more. Okay, let's take my green since when she was a child. My so green. My green. In they G told her it's a pattern. But while you were praying, she fell under the anointing and then the migraine is Completely gone. Completely gone. Healed. Demonic patterns gone forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's take the last one. Well, similar pains here. They all have been healed of one pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all of you who are standing by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Your healings remain permanent. Whether you came out to testify or not, every healing you have received tonight remains permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. We have just five minutes of prayer. Have you submitted your requests? Lift it up very quickly. Ushers. Now, here's what will happen. Ushers, let's walk. We'll keep reinventing ourselves in the miracle service to, con to conserve time. What will happen is for every miracle service, as soon as we come, before praise and worship or afterwards, ushers just move around so that we submit the prayer request so that when it's time like this, we just have it. Um, quickly we we have a few but then please lift it quickly pass it to the last person pass it to the last person at the the left or right aisle whichever don't worry nobody will read your request begin to pray in the spirit while you are doing that i want to pray for you right now along the four areas that god led us to pray today are you praying in the spirit for one minute and then i'll lead you through a declaration of faith Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the healed of the Lord say so. The blessed of the Lord say so. The lifted of the Lord say so. The anointed of the Lord say so. The prosperous of the Lord say so. The healthy of the Lord say so. Please make sure you receive all the requests. Ushers, let's make it very fast. Those following online, you can bring out your prayer request and just keep it in front of you prophetically for those who are connecting online if you've sent it no problem we have it and we're going to pray over it but if you're in your home and you have your request just place it prophetically hallelujah amen now we're going to pray concerning our spiritual growth please listen the bible says i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers remember we are not just a place of breakthrough and miracles and liftings we are primarily 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 a place that will help people encounter jesus christ and encounter the power of the holy spirit if your spiritual life has gone down or is going down your fervency for prayer word study the house of god now is the time to pray grace is available to put you back in right and strong standing are you ready to pray some of you have stopped fasting the grace for it is completely not there anytime you say you want to fast from seven o'clock by ten it's as if you are going to die it is a demonic thing the human spirit even animals have capacity to endure anything that puts you in that state is the devil he's trying to destroy you lift your voice in one minute and pray over your spiritual life in the name of jesus christ as we step into the month of april i am praying over my spiritual life someone is praying passion for the word of god passion for prayer passion for the house of god the bible declares i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord lift your voice and pray over your spiritual life the bible says grow in grace 2nd Peter chapter 3 and verse 18.
grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ we can grow in grace and we can grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ I like you to declare that my spiritual life is coming alive my passion for the things of God my passion for the house of God my passion for prayer make sure you pray this is a major part of this meeting my passion for prayer my passion for the study of the word in the name of Jesus my spiritual life is fanned back to flames every lukewarmness backsliding everything that does not represent spiritual growth I drive it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ number two we spoke about healing now listen when you study what Paul wrote about the gift of the Spirit, all of the other gifts you will find gift of, gift of. But when it comes to healing, you will see that Paul wrote the gifts of healing. That means there are many dimensions to healing. Bodily healing is just one of the dimensions. There is solical healing, the healing of your mind. For the Bible says a broken spirit can dry the bones from the realm of the spirit and it can affect you. Are we together now? It says, say to those who are of a broken heart, do not be afraid. He will come and save you. So you are going to pray for healing, complete holistic healing. For some of you, maybe healing in your body, you will still pray. Some of you, God has begun a miracle. It's yet to be perfected. You are going to pray for perfection of healing. For some of you, it's your mind. Your emotions have been so wrecked by all the things that have happened in your life. Maybe pains, maybe disappointments. Several things have happened in your mind. And you need to be free. You need to be completely healed. There are others who are saying there are other aspects of my life. I'm coming to finances, but even finances, you can receive healing in your finances. The same way your body is sick, your finances can be sick, your career can be sick. Lift your voice and command healing. Go ahead. Go ahead and declare healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare healing, healing of my body. I declare healing, healing of my mind. I declare healing, healing in my job. I declare healing healing in my emotions is someone praying remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old healing from disappointments healing from pain healing from betrayals healing from backstabbings healing from losses healing from bereavements go ahead and pray i decree and declare supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit i'm tired of carrying a backlog of pain I declare that I'm healed finally by the power of the Holy Spirit the Son has set me free I am free indeed the Son has set me free I am free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah third prayer I want you to pray this with aggression and pray this with vigor stagnation to be stagnated means to be kept in one place are we together yes stagnation is very dangerous because the bible says the path of a just is as a shining light that moves that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day you are going to decree and declare every force responsible for stagnation many of you what you are praying right now is what you wrote here i like you to pray stagnation in ministry stagnation in business stagnation in family stagnation over your career lift your voice and rebuke that spirit command advancement over your life command advancement are you praying you came for a miracle service inside outside command stagnation those in ministry pray in the name of jesus i do ministry with results i command the spirit of stagnation over my life stagnation in my career stagnation over my endeavors in the name of jesus i decree and declare i press i go forward i move forward in every area of my life i break forth from the left i break forth from the right i break forth above and below in the name of jesus i make constructive ever increasing progress ever increasing project progress i actualize destiny by the power of the Holy Spirit 
some of you may have experienced stagnation even in your structural establishment you begun a building it has refused to grow it has refused to be completed pray and rebuke that spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah finally look up please i want you to pray over your finances now let me say this we're wrapping up i don't know if you are interested in your financial well-being or not but as a man of god that god has placed over you i will not let you rest till you prosper it's not only knowing god you will know god you will love him with all your heart but i can tell you in advance if something is wrong with your finances you will suffer as if jesus did not die for you are we together i've seen fi financial issues finance is not everything but let me submit to you finance holds a major key in your well-being ask anybody who is sincere especially at this time now you know how much look at diesel 700 and something pms only god knows the other day we were discussing a school of ministry gas cylinder gas cylinder i don't know whether it's empty or filled you you will buy it and be crying as you are lifting it back home because of you know all kinds of things women will tell you here you go to the market it's as if you want to run away from that place because everything has escalated you see the bible told us that these times will come but there is a system of exemption don't forget there was darkness in egypt but there was light all over goshen are we together now when you are praying for your finances you are going to pray a twofold prayer number one that christ be revealed as the wisdom of god remember there are two levels of light there is light that shines on your head job 29 and there is light that shines on your feet the one that shines on your head gives you illumination the one that shines on your feet gives you direction you need both you need strategy and direction thou shall hear a voice from behind saying just because everybody is doing something you follow them you may crash you need a specific direction and then of course we are going to pray that the favor of god oh dear i'm praying that you will really understand the role that favor has to play as far as your financial lifting is concerned what is favor men willing to participate in your in your success are you ready to pray in one minute cry to god pray break this hold of financial stagnation please pray please pray most of what you have written here if we are to be very honest most of them depend on finances the fees of your children structural projects your well-being and welfare those who are under your care that you need to take care of as a person you may not have any financial need but how about your organization how about your church how about your ministry lift your voice and pray especially for some of you that god has so graciously raised to be breadwinners to be the ones who will help your loved ones lift your voice and pray lord strengthen my hand strengthen my hand financially even at times like this holy spirit appear unto me as the wisdom of god let light shine upon my head giving me illumination and strategies let light shine upon my feet giving me direction and guidance please pray pray from the depth of your heart there are many pending projects in our lives because of financial limitations there are many things we are unable to do as far as our divine assignments are concerned because of financial constraints rebuke that spirit i'm about to speak over your life hallelujah 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 can i tell you sincerely one of the reasons why we are able to serve god in truth by the mercies of god is because god has shown us mercy on this wise i can tell you integrity is difficult when you have financial problems just believe me when i tell you this now remember we've taught here when we teach on finances there are people who exaggerate it and it is all about the marketing of flesh money money let me have money 
just for the sake of the flesh that's not what we're saying but any sincere person who loves god knows that if something is wrong with your finances it can wreck your marriage there are do you know that there are children that stopped going to school since after the pandemic because their parents sincerely cannot offer it. and there are others who maybe have their jobs their jobs are still there they are paying them the salary is just that it is honestly not enough to solve the problems can i tell you this i've told you i prayed to god and i vowed and covenanted with god that i will never be the man of god who just focuses on your spiritual growth alone and then leave other aspects of your life to go down imagine that as you're standing right now there's no food in my house i'm going to carry a bowl and walk to you prophetically not generally i will walk to you i will tell you as, as soon as i get to you just don't even argue with me i know what i've seen that made me come to you because of hunger so most of the people who are compromising on integrity may not necessarily be bad people when you pray for the grace for integrity pray for financial empowerment if you are empowered it will give you the leverage to be able to walk in integrity are we together now if someone comes to bribe you to change something in your office and is going to give you 100 million you can say no i'm standing for jesus you will go to heaven but you will still suffer on earth because of that that because of your integrity so you have to pray a time has come in the body of christ where we should not shy away from the necessity of financial empowerment you can be empowered and still be righteous you can still be empowered and love jesus are we together there are more compromises as a result of lack of resources than there are as a result of plenty resources are you ready to pray for favor please cry unto god in one minute father let favor come upon my life grant me financial rest the lord put this in my heart this is part of the miracle service i must honor what he has given me please pray corporate rest financially personal rest financially lord grant rest in the name of jesus i'm tired of financial embarrassment i'm tired of worrying about money is distracting my prayer life is distracting my word study life luck is introducing wrong relationships to my life grant me the grace to be empowered pray for favor pray for favor pray for favor god using men to participate in your lifting god using men to participate in your destiny outside make sure you pray if this is all we do tonight it was worth it lord the realities of the times will not catch up with me i am immune by knowledge immune by favor hallelujah exodus 11 3 exodus 11 3 i'm about to pray right now have i wasted your time tonight exodus 11 3 please be patient i want you to return with results media are we still there are we together exodus 11 3 read with me please everyone one to read and the lord gave the people favor stop so people as a as a community can find favor not just an individual and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Uh huh. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. What was responsible for his favor? The Lord gave favor. There is a relationship between favor and greatness. Truly. You can be great by favor. I have taught you that who hates you does not matter. Naysayers can go, but who likes you? You are going to pray that God will make someone like you. It's not a carnal prayer in this wicked world that God will, will make someone endeared to you genuinely with no strings attached. Lift your voice and cry to heaven. Believe me, one person who finds favor, who you find favor with, can give you a house, can give you all these things you are looking for. 
is not a license for laziness but it's an advantage in the kingdom let's tap into it lord grant me favor god can open untold doors into profitable relationships lord i'm tired of troublemakers in my life send help us is someone praying lord i'm tired of naysayers in my life send genuine help us hallelujah hallelujah let's save the time please prophetically stretch your hands here and let's begin to declare just for one or two minutes i'm going to pray go ahead and begin to declare we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every request are you praying Lord, they return as testimonies. Every praise is to our God. Every song of worship is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. One more time. Every praise. To our God, every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we have obeyed you and we have honored you by bringing our requests. For the Bible says to be anxious in nothing. But it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You said we should let our request made, be made known unto God. Father, we have brought this as representations of our concerns. Grant us rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout a louder amen. amen. As I would always say in the name of Jesus, every prayer request here is turned into a testimony. Amen. supernatural testimonies most of the testimonies here require favor may that favor work for you in the name of jesus christ any human agent stopping answers to this prayer we clear them out of the way now and i decree and declare as we have spoken and as we have declared let it be so for you yes. you will return back with your testimony yes. in jesus name i pray yes. please lift your hands let me speak over your life thank you for your patience in the name of jesus i decree and declare this week by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that has not been working everything that represents a disappointment I stand upon this grace and I decree and declare, may it begin to walk in your life. Yes. Hear me? The same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you, where you need to live and go to, may nothing stop you. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, the same way when you left your home there were many roads but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place every confusion around your life may god show you the exact thing to do now in the name of jesus for all of you who are here when you got to the gate the gate did not close against you therefore i declare every gate that has closed against you i open it now in the name of jesus christ hear me there are many things you need in your life but you do not have the currency to buy them the wisdom as currency to buy 
the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you i prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers i say it again you and your children are exempted from kidnappers in the name of jesus you are exempted from accidents you are exempted from the evils of the day in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you finally this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around i decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore i pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures in the name of jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of jesus christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes i decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in jesus name i pray let's keep standing may i request that we minimize movement the altar call does not take more than two minutes or three minutes please let's not distract those who are coming to jesus as much as possible there are people here who are saying apostle i need jesus i came for this miracle service i've seen the hand of god but i need to make my ways right two people there are those who are saying apostle i've never made this decision i am making it for the first time there are others who are saying apostle i've made this decision but i need to rededicate my life to jesus please i'd like you to rush quickly there's no need cajoling you know that you need jesus make your way to the front don't wait for anyone to be the first be the first to come come to jesus koinonia celebrate them all the overflows move to your led screens following from your homes connecting by faith here is your chance to surrender everything to jesus please come very quickly i count one to five and i begin praying i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no you're joining them come quickly lift your right hand high above your head thank you so much for this bold decision you're still coming please come rush very quickly rush very quickly if you come after the prayer the prayers um if you didn't pray the prayer make sure that you tell the counselor so that they'll lead you say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i accept you into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i have the life of god and from tonight and forever i go forward ever and backward never i am a child of god I am saved in Jesus' name. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these ones. You have brought them by your spirit and they have confessed the lordship of Jesus. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I decree and declare that the Lord gives you a new beginning. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be established and grounded in righteousness. From today, you go forward ever and backward never. 
in jesus name i pray amen god bless you for this great decision please follow the counselors they are waving the placard just follow them very quickly let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them as they go let's celebrate them as they go hallelujah now two very important announcements and then we're done next week we're starting a, a new series and i want you to pay attention Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.